What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How are you doing? Sorry. Anyways, um, before we get started, I'd just like to say this podcast is sponsored by Get Ready Catering. Get Ready Catering is the catering company that I started, and it is something I plan to keep on doing and plan to keep going with, and we plan to keep moving forward. Uh, Get Ready Catering has been able to get out to more people. We're right now located in the London, Ontario area, going out to the reserves. We can outreach more even further, but if you wanted to get your catering done at any point into this, all you have to do is call 226 226- Nine nine eight seven seven eight seven, and get a hold of who else but me, Deganyan. <laughs> so uh, you get a hold of me and you get in contact. Or if you want to email, all you gotta do is go to the get ready at gmail dot com and then drop me an email to get your catering event ready or anything you want to do. Have it sent to me and I will get it right on there and have it done. And we will get everything we can. But remember, the email is at get ready with two R's at gmail dot com. Today's episode features my good friend and a really, really cool guy and a really great chef. His name is Josh. Carl? Carlington? Carlton? I don't know. I never really looked at his last name. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, I get to meet, I've got to meet Josh when I worked at the long-term care home and uh you know I learned a lot from the guy and that's what you should be doing when you meet with new people you should actually be learning something from people instead of actually you know pretending you know everything so I got to learn a lot from him and you know like over the time of course I cooked with him and time spent with him and hanged out with him you know he's a really great guy a lot of interesting stories he had a lot of background to other restaurants before he worked here so he has all this knowledge great guy to hang out with fantastic and in this episode we are, I just want to warn everybody, we are at a restaurant when we recorded this, and we're at the famous BP, also known as Boston Pizza, and we actually got to do this episode, so there is a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of noise, but it's not that bad at all, I'm just letting everybody know ahead of time. Okay, so without further ado, let's get the podcast going. We're on, it's official? It's official. It's finally happening after all these years. I know, I talked about it, what, two years ago? Yeah, the first, uh, first got into podcasts. It's when you first came around. Cause yeah, you, cause, at uh, the home. Uh, my brother, Snow, talked about it before, but I never paid attention, and I never cared. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> when, we, when you started working there, uh, I think you told me about it one time, and I was just like, what's All these about? podcasts? Yeah, and I was like, what's that about? So I, and I looked at my phone, I was like, oh, I do got podcasts. <laughs> and then I looked it up, and just I was like. the app, yeah, there's so many, right? And then I was just like, oh, this is a lot. And I was like, this is so free, too? This is a downloaded bunch. And <laughs> yeah, it's right. You were like roulette almost, eh? Yeah, I just, I would like. Once yeah. a week, at least get a brand random new one, <laughs> just random random. Because then there'd be like uh, the top hundred or two hundred. Yeah, that's right. There'd be new uh, podcast, and I would just click one, click one, and just listen to it. And then like you know, ten minutes, five minutes from that into it, I just get rid of it and delete it. Or if I just for all time, <laughs> if I like it, I'll keep listening to it, listen to it. But eventually, most like every podcast, it just yeah fades out. Sometimes, I mean, there's a few I still listen to, like Criminal. You still listen to that one? I every every time there's a new episode, it's the one podcast. Is that like, the one with the detective? Oh, is that no, the one no, with the no, detective? no, no, no. This, uh, Radiotopia. Hey, yeah. Yep. Can I get the, uh, jambalaya fettuccine? Sure. Cheese on your garlic toast? Uh, sure. Uh, could I get the all meat bites? Yeah. With, uh, hot? Sure. Do you have, starter uh, size or the double one? Uh, I'll have starter. Do you have, uh, blue cheese? Yep. Yeah, I'll have that. Blue cheese? Thank you. Uh, but, um, criminal. no, it's yeah. criminal. Uh, the episode, that was the one where... And it had like, I don't know, like 50, or it was over 50 episodes. Okay. Because that was the one that I actually did. And like, I listened to all of it, and now I just listen, can oh, keep oh, up with it. Wow. They released a new one called This Is Love. Is it crazy? It's okay. Oh, it's, it's not okay. like criminal. What oh. it is, it's about uh, people's stories about like, uh, the first episode had to do with this guy who basically, what the heck is he doing? Oh, his wife passed away from cancer, so he oh. had to raise his two daughters. Right. And then the next episode just came out today, and it was about a woman who uh, saved a baby whale. Really? Yeah, the baby oh, whale mistaken her for like a mom. Yeah. And just kind of, she she had to stay in the water and get the baby back out to the ocean. That's and crazy. Found its mom and then. That'd be interesting. Yeah, like those are. That's it's a pretty good episode. Yeah. I like it too because like I don't mind two, sometimes three hour podcasts. But is that what it is? No, no, no. This oh. one's only half an hour. Oh, I see. And yeah. I don't mind that because then I can jump, listen to it, jump to none. But like, like a Joe uh, Rogan one's like four hours. <laughs> 
He's, 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 he's got good guests sometimes, yeah. but I don't listen to all of them. There's okay. some I'll jump and jump right. over. Thank you. But um, yeah, like just the last few of them I listened to. That was that was okay. I like um, I'll always watch this like segments of his on YouTube. Like I don't watch the whole four hour things, but I watch some of his segments. <laughs> uh, like, I love the ones with Bill Burr. I love Bill Burr. Yeah, yeah. Bill Burr's funny. Yeah, yeah. See, um, there's an episode with uh, no, there's a podcast called Your Mom's House. No, oh. it's got uh, Tom Segura and his wife. Is it? And Bill Burr is on there. <laughs> and on that show, at the very near the end, they ask, uh, they have a like a would you rather, or like you know, like a, two different scenarios. Yeah. And one of them, they asked Bill Burr, he said, "What would you rather have to run top speed everywhere you go, <laughs> or be yelling at the top of your voice no matter what you're doing?" Oh wow. And he was just like, "Nah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the uh, yelling." Yeah, really? He said, he said, I found a loophole, and they're like, what's that? He says, I would just wait for people to be like, Bill, Bill. He says, after the 10th time, he'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's so creative. <laughs> it just, That's awesome. I just thought it was what? so great. He just stopped over because he said he was talking about, he'd be talking to his wife, and he said, uh, it's going to be kind of difficult after. I'm going to the movies. <laughs> he says, after making love, he's like, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's just be very yeah. threatening after all. <laughs> so you have to get used to it. Tone it down, man. <laughs> That's He's awesome. Like, Why are you yelling? I love both of you. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> <You're sick. laughs> Why is he laughing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, never get those. Never. But that that was um, it's pretty good though. And the most classic podcast of all time. Complete history of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still saying that you got to do a podcast on podcast reviews. It's got to happen one day. Just like, yo, this is the review. Get ready for podcast review. <laughs> still waiting for a Logan review. After two years. After two years? Waiting for, still waiting for that Logan review. Oof. Get ready for Logan. Were you kind of were you kind of mad that I got snubbed at the Oscars? Yeah. That was uh, disappointing. I think I only got nominated for one thing. Should have won everything. Best musical, I don't care. <laughs> best musical. <laughs> it's like the best leading actress goes to Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Best actor goes to Hugh Jackman. <laughs> best director, what does he know? Hugh Jackman. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, man. It was so good, though. It was a good movie. I know you hated it. I, I preferred it in black and white. That yeah, was, I, still, I, I still haven't seen it in black and white. I think that's so much better. Yeah. I would have loved that movie ten times more if they originally in the theaters it got released. But did you know a lot of other movies are doing that? What? Not a lot, but some are starting to turn black and white now. You know one that did recently? Did you ever see uh, Mad Max Fury Road? Oh, kind of. I've seen half of it. They did uh, They did the chrome edition. Really? And it's black and white. And it's a little confusing because it's not like Logan where it's kind of like a straight story right. kind of a deal. <clears throat> because there's so much cars and destruction stuff, it's kind yeah. of confusing kind in of black flashy, and white. Right? Yeah, 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 just yeah. Like, it's not, It doesn't work that well. Trying too hard, man. Yeah, I but you could do. I think you could do quite a few movies that way. Probably. Depending, you gotta pick the right movie. Yeah, you gotta fit the style. Like it would work because it's kind of like a western theme, and kind of like the the, super, the superhero theme was kind of second in the movie, which you know is more drama based anyway. <laughs> the um. Oh, well, yeah, so you saw Star Wars then, right? I only got to briefly talk. Last, with you. it's right just for like uh, yeah, five briefly seconds. talk with you for a little bit because. Uh, Kayla and Andrew being annoying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, were, they were so triggered that I this I I uh just like I was just like railing against her calamari and they're like I just kinda made a comment, I thought. I like you're perishing the whole table, they're like so triggered <laughs> over it. Person the table. Holy and then they're like next day they barely even talked to me, like, holy crap, I didn't think it was that bad. It's gonna gave my opinion. Last Sooner. time I ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at the floor. They were so triggered. Alright. Like you how I do. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't get killing money. <laughs> it's just because you're making the sauce, right? I remember that's what you're talking about. Was just all, all because my thing is all it needs is you can add salt and pepper, whatever, too. Yeah. I don't care. But like you, all you need is a lemon at most, and then a, a cocktail sauce. That's it. Yeah. And lemon's optional. <laughs> it's all so basic, and people always try to be so fancy with it. And you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> doing it wrong. <laughs> that's my opinion of it, anyways. And then they got triggered over. All of a sudden, just ultimate hate. Yeah. That's so weird. Is this gonna pick up the music? It might, I don't know. Are we gonna have the epic background music the whole time? Ah, uh, we will, but hopefully our voice is cut over it. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully yeah, it's all right, it's all right though. Yeah. Nice. Like I said, I knew around this time it gets- Pretty dead. It's really sad that I should admit that because then I know when restaurants are dead. 
up like, yo, go with there all this time. <laughs> kind usually up usually though, um, when uh, me and uh, Ashley would go eat um, breakfast, yeah. we go to Angel's because they stop at three. Oh, is it? But they got so much good breakfast there. Ooh. But we go to Angel's and uh, when we go out there, we go at like 1.30 to two, three, Yeah. just dead. Really? And, we, and like literally she'll get a breakfast poutine, I'll get like uh, the big breakfast. Not even kidding, man. Ten minutes, it's out. That's awesome. Just boom, we put it down here. You guys go, and we're like, oh. And it's sad too because we know this one waitress too well. Is it? <laughs> She's like, I haven't seen you guys in a while. She talked to us and everything. I'm just like, I don't know if this is really cool or really sad that we know a waitress. Right? Same with Denny's, we know a waitress. Nice. Too. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, sorry. Talk to me about this breakfast routine. It's like, yo. Talk to me about it. It's the bomb. Oh, I'm, wow. not, I'm not gonna lie because it's like the hash browns. It's you get bacon. Nice. And you get poached eggs on top. Oh, and yeah. then you get hollandaise sauce on top of that, man. And then they put a little bit of chive, salt and pepper on there. That's, that's, that's the good life. I gotta make that happen one day. That's the freaking, you know what I got into recently? Mm. Pad Thai. Oh yeah? Really into it. I don't know why either, like. I go 50-50 in Pad Thai. I just go to Ben Thai. Okay, it's uh, good day. Yeah, just right over there. Okay. Literally over there. Uh, I just go there, that's it. If for I make it for myself, I like it. I find it with the restaurants they make it, I like, I'm not a big fan of like that cilantro lime twist on foods, anything. Like, so if I, I can admit that at home, you, so I swap out parsley, get more herby and instead of like those bright notes. Yeah. But yeah. So when I never get home, I love it. But then when I go out, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna love it because I love it. And then I forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I can't order this. <laughs> but that's good though. Yeah, I've had time. Switch it up a bit. It's healthy too, isn't it? Like, uh, it depends. It? Depends, right? Yeah, it really, really does depend because like it depends on the calories, what you put in there, what kind right. of sauce you use. I actually did find a, a loophole because I was looking into a healthy pad thai. Okay, you so would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I found like a, you can use uh, brown rice noodles. Nice. And then like, you can still use the chicken, you can still use your vegetables, but it comes down to that sauce, right? There yeah. is a President's Choice pad thai sauce, yeah. or you can just make one. Okay. And I actually uh, found a guy named, um, I want to say his name's Kevin Curry. He's on uh, YouTube and stuff. Okay. Fat Man Cook. He had the same idea and he already did it online. Really? So you can find it and it's nice. like a really bomb ass <laughs> recipe. That's good. I haven't made it yet, but this contest that I'm into right now, I just do five days of worth of food. Yeah. So like last, last this week I actually did protein, no flour uh, pancakes. Wow. It's pretty bomb. That's awesome. You love your pancakes, right? Eh? <laughs> I can still have it some way and still cut weight. Gotta have it. And then I had like- uh, You're trying your sweet potato pancakes yet? Was that ever a thing? I thought you were talking about one time. Yeah, I did. I actually did, did make them, yeah. Nice. Like, yeah, like, I oh, still love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, actually, I actually did do a uh, sweet potato waffle. Oh, nice. And then I did uh, chicken on there, because once I was like, I'm having chicken and waffles, and people were like, oh, this, aren't you like one? I was like, yeah. And then I had Walden's Farm syrup, so I was like, no sugar, no, no calories. <laughs> Poured it all over my chicken and waffles, and I was like, bomb. i never seen somebody so dedicated to junk food, they're healthy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to find a way to make this food I love. Healthy. <laughs> it's like a gift, like these inspired recipes. It's like, I have to make it healthy so I can still eat it. <laughs> that's, that's the thing too, is a lot of people think like it's not, it's hard or right. you can't get to it. And I'm just like, mm, that's kind of easy actually, yeah. Are you having the jumbo Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any bites? Yeah. Thank Perfect. you. Any uh, pepper or cheese on there? I have pasta? some cheese. Yeah. Cheese? Perfect. It's cheesy. Cheesy. Thank you. It's good? It's great. Yeah. All right. Oh, looks good as always. Hell yeah. Sweet. It's like, there's gonna be a time. Oh yeah, no way. Uh, so, so what, you just uh, went to a burger burger by yourself then? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked. I drove all the way there and like, oh, they'll be there. So I, waited, I waited outside for probably like 10 minutes and uh, like, oh, maybe they're inside. I just kind of missed it. I don't know. So I kind of walked in and nobody was there. I'm like, they're not coming, are they? <laughs> so I just found that gift like, I'm sad. And like, yeah, Connor still to this day never said nothing. <laughs> so I don't know why. I was, um, I just remember being like, oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it because I was laying in my bed and it was like three o'clock and I was just like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive or nothing. So I was sitting there, I was like, I better message. <laughs> just totally fucking forgot. Then like quarter after. No, whenever you sent that freaking meme, because I was like, oh shit, I looked in that side and it was, I'm sad. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, oh well. And I was like, why didn't I freaking just put it earlier? Oh well. Still, um, I wouldn't recommend the top one. The top bun. I didn't love it. No. No. Have you had it? I think I had the top bun. Oh. Yeah. 
It wasn't really all about it. Is that the one with uh, caramelized onions? Or is that the one that looks like a Big Mac? I don't want it's a Big Mac. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I never did have that. No, no. yeah. No, no. Because that smells right. I had the Richmond. And I think I had, what, eight patties? No, six. Yeah, six. Was six, it six or eight? Eight total. Six, two, six, eight, four, six. Mm, shoot, shoot, shoot. Was it eight or six? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it was six. I think it was two. It was two patty burger, and you got four extra patties. I think that's what it was. If I remember correctly. But it, maybe I don't. don't. Don't I keep saying 10 next time? Yeah. So it must have been eight then. It must have been eight. Jesus. <laughs> that's amazing. It's like, I'll be back. <laughs> so I can save them. 10 patties. That's life, man. That's the life. We have to go back there sometime. Yeah. People are actually going to show up next time. <laughs> Although I, don't, I can't say nothing. I already did you guys once too. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. We yeah. almost didn't go in Connor. was just like, I'll still go. And I was like, well, we're here. Might as well. <laughs> The Chinese food I did you too. <laughs> it was it was kind of my fault, but kind of wasn't my fault. Cause then uh, no, I was gonna I was planning on going, and then all of a sudden like um, my friend's like, "Yo, we're still gonna hang out." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I kind of forgot." He's like, "Yeah, um, I bought us tickets for Star Wars: Last Jedi." I'm like, "Oh okay." <laughs> so I decided I'm doing that instead. That's when I saw Star Wars. I think my overall reaction, even now, is. I liked it, yeah, but I didn't like like it. I, I guess, know. and that's the best way I can put it. Because like that's, even when I first saw it, I was like watching, and I was like, "There's something off about this movie." Yeah. Almost like they're not following a continuous story. Right. Almost, almost like somebody said, "I don't like what JJ did. I'm just gonna do my own thing." You're right. That's what uh, Ryan Johnson right, like yeah. he did. I think he just literally was like, "I don't like that stuff." <laughs> uh, JJ did. I'll just do this and this and this and then of course like you know the Star Wars committee that, that Kathleen Kennedy sits with is no, like they're brutal she just looked at him and was like All right. I like this brilliant it makes sense <laughs> totally follows the last movie and they're like okay oh yeah Snoke no, no thanks <laughs> <laughs> bye bye <laughs> and the whole like the whole like Rose and Finn scene made no sense and had no consequence to the entire movie as a whole they just kind of running around I guess like I don't know they had no consequences. It's like, much as I, I, I didn't mind the message, but at the same time, I was just like, it really wasn't necessary. What's the point of it, right? Because, yeah, you're right. Nothing came out of it. And you, the whole thing could have been completely avoided if this pilot, or if, if that, sorry, if that, what's her face? I can't remember her name. With the dress, whatever. And then she's like, if she had said her, her plan to whatever. Like, hey, I got a plan. Don't oh, worry uh, about it. Was it General Holden or yeah, Captain I think Holden? Something or whatever, like that. whatever her name is? Yeah. And she just told Paul, hey, Paul, get, calm, calm down. Calm, I got a plan. Balls. We got an idea. And like, okay, that's it. That's all I could have worried the whole thing. It's like, oh my god, the world's gonna end. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a freaking meteor's gonna hit us. What do we do? I know, I'm gonna hijack the goddamn fucking spaceship we're gonna use, and I'm gonna go crash and fly out somewhere else. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> all right. Why, why can't you just tell us right? what was gonna happen? Oh, man. But there were some good moments in there. No, for sure. Like, like The whole Praetorian Guard scene and everything, and like at Snoke's room. And but the whole thing with like the whole light speed ship thing, that was sick. That was, I was in there like I was just like awed in silence. I know, like when it's I saw that, that night, everyone everyone in the room was like, <gasps> yeah. you could just hear the like the air get sucked out of the room and that <laughs> And it was cool too because it's silent, right? So you can't hear anything. Right. Just, I was, was like, amazing. holy shit, that was so awesome. That was powerful. There were some good moments, but Yeah. And then like they had to just go and waste Luke Skywalker. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that got me mad about that movie. Yeah. Because even when I first saw it, I was like I didn't like that. Like, I just kept thinking about that. Why did they do that? Why did they do that? And then I saw it again. I we took my girlfriend and we saw it. And then I, I saw it again. I was just sitting there watching, examining. I was just like, why did they do this? Like, it didn't make thought, any who, sense, right? Who thought this was a good idea? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really oh, very good. good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Like, that's all I could think of was, who thought this was a good idea to, like, <laughs> make Luke like this? I don't know. You saw there's, like, temper tantrums and everything, and, like, the random, like, milk. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> just staring at her like <laughs> drink his milk. <laughs> Very creepy. Oh man. So yeah, then there's solo now. I don't know, man. I'm gonna see it. Yeah. But I'm seeing it with the idea that um Ron Howard was the director. Right. Other than that, I'm just like, um it's just like Han Solo's greatest hits. Yeah. It's like, hey, remember that time uh, I met Chewbacca? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I friggin' got the Millennium Falcon <laughs> for the Lando Car reason, yeah. And when I did the, the Kessel Run, oh, we were right about that. 
They stole it all in one movie. I know. That's what it just feels like. Like, I don't know. The one thing I saw about it was like it looks like, um, uh, it basically looks like I don't know, one of these like Marvel team movies. But then like, oh yeah, they stole the Star Wars on there. It looks like this generic movie they slapped Star Wars on there and got throw it out here. <laughs> Why are they doing it in um, like May or whatever? When are they coming out with it? Why are they why, why not in December? Like they were always doing it before. That's well, the, the um, original six came out in May. Like it always came out in May. Oh. And I heard they were trying to do that before, but then they just like, oh, we can get out episode seven in, de- in December. And then they just kind of kept with that for a little bit. Oh, do they want to switch to May? Oh, okay. Maybe they, yeah, I think they just want to switch it to May. And I don't know. I thought it was pretty smart the way they're doing it before. Right Cause in could, yeah, because that way you can always associate like Star Wars and Christmas and everything and merchandise and whatever. That's what we thought they were trying to do. But now, <coughs> you're just like, um, I don't know. It's kind of sketchy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how they do if it goes, I guess. Like, I'm, I'm going to see it no matter what. But I'm not like, oh man, I can't wait. Like, yeah, boy. Actually, episode eight. Kind yeah. of, kind of really destroyed my faith and like, like I'm not excited for episode nine. I'm not excited for Han Solo. I'm not excited for a lot of movie, uh, no. Star Wars anymore. Like I'm just really like they're ruining oh, yeah. it. I'm just like oh, yeah, right. But I'm not like oh god, the god. Like when I was like super excited for episode eight, but then like that was just like I don't know. Nothing doing, eh? Nah, just it was weird. Have you seen uh, Black Panther yet? No. No. Alright. I won't say nothing. Looked good though. Yeah. It was, awesome. it was good. So yeah. It's good though. And Infinite Wars. In May? No. Is it May? May? Yeah. Oh jeez. May. Cause I know like they said Josh Brown's gonna be in two superhero movies in two weeks apart. <laughs> two weeks apart? Yeah, he plays cable and Deadpool, and then you can obviously Thanos and uh, Infinite Wars. Uh, it's gonna be hype, man. Is Deadpool 2 come out in May? Yeah. That looks that's good, pretty, too. That's pretty stacked. That trailer's on. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a pretty stacked month. For sure. Yeah. I'm still waiting all this time. Whiplash 2. <laughs> 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 Would be like Whiplash. Insult edition. <laughs> I was gonna say Whiplash harder, but. Oh, yeah, we okay. get no. I wanna buy a whole album of him just cursing out. <laughs> Whiplash 2. It's just called Not My Temple. <laughs> How epic would that be? Did you see La La Land? Yeah, I did finally see it. I liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But it still wasn't like, it was still kind of blow your mind, but it wasn't like, I gotta watch this every day for the rest of my life. I can like, only watch that once, that's it. Yeah. I could never watch that again. It's just no? too sad at the end. Then. He's like, yeah, I think, I think my career, like, please. I'm just like, why, Martha? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do you know that name? <laughs> Who was that? I was uh, at my girlfriend's yesterday, and uh, I was talking about doing a catering job. Okay. And they were like, Oh yeah, and her mom was all like, um, yeah, you should probably do this and this. I'll just get in contact with Martha. And I was like, oh, no one. Martha, how do you know that name? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that name? <laughs> just like screaming at her. You <laughs> start yelling at her. It finally happened. You didn't take advantage of it. <laughs> Come on, man. Just, I'm waiting my whole life for somebody named Martha to show up in my life. <laughs> how do you know that name? <laughs> just Martha for days. Martha for days. <laughs> <laughs> you watch Super Bowl? T Swift. T Swift? We crank this music up on the podcast. <laughs> Do you have to get music rights for this? <laughs> <laughs> T Swift. Okay, we just gotta bask in the glow of T Swift. <laughs> Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah, I seen the last half. I was working for the first half of it then. Oh, yeah. I just came home like I came home raised the half time was about to start, so I saw that. I, was, I thought you did a good job. You saw old man Timberlake? Yeah. He kind of killed it. I love the whole Prince shout out. Yeah, like, but... He didn't like it? No, it's just, uh, I just, when I was watching, I was just like, man, like... 
Timberlake's old. <laughs> yeah. Like he is kind of. Like if you watch the Grammys or you watch other live performances and you see some of these younger stars just like booging it, and it looked like they're they look like they're out of breath or nothing. Yeah, like, he yeah. looked like he. But Timberlake looked like he was like. He's little, like <laughs> doing like old man pop moves and like. <laughs> I swear there was a point he was like just letting the the record sing it while he was just like, holy shit. <laughs> We should have practiced. <laughs> uh, I should have brought in sync so they could do some parts. <laughs> I could just sit back. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What do you have to check? Huh? What do you have to check? I see the time. Well, how long? How, how we're doing? How we doing? We're almost at 24 minutes. 24, man. Just killing it. Just shredding. Hashtag BP. Keep living that BP life. <laughs> <laughs> so right away when you're like, yeah, I gotta go to White Oaks. I just go to food court. And I was like, that's kind of loud. And you're like, or maybe a restaurant nearby, whatever's cool. And I was like, oh, there's a BP in here. <laughs> it's gonna happen automatically. That's right. I kind of forgot it was here. Yeah. We were after Landmark, we usually go over, head over to Chop, you know? Mm-hmm. It's so expensive there. I think I ate there once and yeah. It was so good though. I got, um, I think me and my girlfriend got two French onion soups mm-hmm. and then she got some kind of appetizer and I got an appetizer because mm-hmm. we weren't really hungry or something. But Just wanted to go out? Still costs like 60 bucks. I bet. It was a lot. No, yeah. that one was great. Great. But it, okay, was okay. Says. <laughs> and it was okay. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't like... <gasps> Did it blow your mind? Oh, no. It blew my mind. I think because I didn't get anything like a steak or something. Oh, maybe. I, I even heard my brother talk about it. He went there once, uh, my oldest brother, and he was like, oh, I got the steak, and it's really good. And he started telling me, and I was like, oh, yeah. When I went there, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't really hungry, so I was like, I don't really want to get anything too big. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is a couple of these episodes. I listened to Zach's. That was awesome. He just got chilling up playing video games. It was like, he just showed me the tour yeah. of that Nuka Cola world. The Nuka Cola. That was like Fallout, right? Yeah, Fallout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just showing me that. And I was just like, he's going with it? Yeah, no, like I said, but whatever they're doing. Because I got to go to his house. So I was like, that's right. He lives in Mount Bridges, right? Yeah. Nice. Pretty, are pretty close to it. Mm. Right by the river. He's got a really cool house, like really nice yeah. setup and everything. Nice. I was like, wow, it's really cool. That's sick. Really, really nice cat. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> He's got a Maine Coon, so it's like those bigger cats. Oh yeah? Yeah. He's going to, that's cool. It's pretty huge cat, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, she said this is like 10th already, so. Yeah, this He's is... been around, eh? <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get him out there, so. I, my SoundCloud account got all messed up, so I'm gonna fix it. Oh. Then I'll be able to put everything back on iTunes. Oh yeah, cause you haven't been updating iTunes. Yeah, I haven't been on iTunes because of like the account got it got through with thrown off, and I have to fix the data and all the crap because it was like telling me about like oh you don't have enough data, so you got to buy more, or you got to like oh, do yeah, this. Right. I was like, oh, so I got to organize that. So I just I got kind of mad, so I was like, yeah. So I just kind of put him on uh, YouTube instead. Yeah. iTunes, uh, the only the only let you put up one at a time is that what it is? No. Because I tried to I tried to like go back, but it was only like. I tried it, what was it? I tried, went on there, whatever, and all that was up there was episode... Three, right? Episode three. What's one with your Eric, right? Yeah, Eric. Is that's like, one of us two. Like, oh, where's episode two and one? But it wasn't on there anywhere. I didn't know what was going on. So that's what I mean. The, uh, I had the account fixed to where there was just one. Like, you could put on, I put on one and two, but then I guess when you have a free song called account, you have enough just for like one. Uh-oh. When, da- when data or enough for data for like that many and because that one with Eric is like two hours and 13 minutes or something <laughs> it just is like and I was like jeez can I like, suck it all up yes please can I get more water too yeah thank you uh, okay that's what happens so I just gotta organize that other than that it'll be good right <coughs> yeah it was pretty good so far though getting more and more people yeah, I haven't really had any people turn it down. Like every time I ask someone, like, okay, but then some people are like, what do I do? <laughs> like uh, Karen asked me that, like, what are we doing? And I was like, it's just like radio. Yeah. 
I said, we just sit and talk, chill out, do whatever. I said, then when we're done, we're done. Do you like pick like topic for people or whatever? No. You don't think you pick a topic? Uh, no, the only, there's a few people who like specifically wanted to talk about something, like my cousin Ira, that episode, he wanted to talk about health. Is it? So I was like, yeah, thank you. Okay. And I was like, and I was just like, okay, that's, that's, that's cool. And, but, that, um, and that language trick. Yeah, that Sam White, cool Sam yeah. White Eye. She right, just, right. she was just like, oh, I want to talk about that, and I was like, sure. Let's go like, for I, it, like right? I just let them have a platform. Right. If you want to, you want to promote something? I just say go ahead. But if you just want to like chill out, then we can chill out. Yeah, because yeah. I noticed because everybody he was like promoting his uh, his uh, tire shop, uh, whatever. Yeah, Eric. And she was like promoting her like language uh, program, whatever. And then I don't know, I don't think Zach was promoting nothing, was he? He was just being Zach. He was being Zach. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It is dad walked <laughs> That's awesome. And then the same with um. Even Danielle, her episode, and that, hear, yeah. in that one, well, I didn't upload it yet, oh, but yeah, I was going to get ready. Right, right. Um, in that one, we just kind of talk about health. Oh, yeah? But not really, too, because we also go into, like, um, a lot of kitchen, like, a lot of cooking and kitchen stuff and everything nice. like that, and then we just kind of go into, uh, then we start kind of getting into health and stuff like that. So she kind of right. explains to me some of her, uh, some of her issues she's having and stuff like that with it. So right. I was like, oh, okay, so we just kind of go over things like that, but. You want to talk about it, eh? <laughs> I mean, it was, it's kind of a shame too because it was only like 52 minutes because she, oh. she did it before she went to work. Uh, so I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, that's all right because I told her we'll get another one on right away. Cause I, about right. I, could tell she, I could tell that we both could have probably went for two hours. <laughs> but she was like, oh, I got to get to work now too because I saw what time it was. I was like, oh, it's like quarter after 11. She was like, I got to go. And God. then she left. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So I, know, I know we did that for a while. But yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Nice. So like I said, I'm, if I'm... If I stay at my uh, dad's house in Oneida, if somebody's close by, I just tell them to come there. Okay. Because that's the easiest spot just to sit down. Real like, central kind of, right? Yeah, and then it's like, like I say, it's so isolated. Even in the house, it's usually just uh, me and my girlfriend are, sometimes my uh, my uh, stepbrother is there too, but like. Is that where you're staying now? No, no, oh. I'm just like, I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth anyway. Right. But like, I was just, that's all I was doing for now, so. Other than that, it was just, I guess that was all right. Right. But, I mean, like I said, I'm just, like I said, I just ask anybody. And I try to get them as much as I can because there'll probably be a point, a point I will eventually have to start working again. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try and like... Bounce around it? Yeah, and just try to bounce around where I can be like, oh, I'm not working this day. Can you show up this time? Yeah. I'm actually right now is too trying to get, uh, get into going to school again. I'm Are you? I'm trying to go to be a community health promoter. Nice. So like, that's... For different reserves? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, two-year program, but it's all online. So I can do it all online nice. and still get another job. That's what I, yeah. Online's a good way to go. That's what I'm noticing. Because it said, too, that uh, it just requires you to do 16 hours of work on it a week. And I was like, it's not bad. Yeah, right. I was like, so I, can, I can get in like an hour or two a day. Like, usually, like, what I found I did in the end Yeah. with my online program was, uh, um, like, that was my plan, too. I was do, like, two or three hours every day. But after I was done work, I'm like, I don't really want to do this. So what I would do, I would just, I would just kind of like ignore it all week. And now if I had two days off, I would just do eight hours, like I was working basically, for that entire time. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, so I set up like usually. I just took a whole like basically like it was, I took like my eight hour work day, and just did it for specifically for school. So I got my sixteen hours in that way. All right. So, and whatever like works best for you, but. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, even right now, I'm still jumping around because um, I've gotten a few. <clears throat> I got a teaching job next month, a catering job next month. Oh, you do? I'm doing a catering tomorrow for a small group of people. Oh, wow. So I got a few things. And of course, um, the health promoter at uh, the Oneida Health Center, I'm working with her again. And she wanted to do a cooking class, or wanted to do like a, a class for healthy meal prepping and stuff, but it's for the weight loss program that I'm in. Really? So I kind of talked to her and I was like, can't do it. Like, because I don't want to give away secrets right now <laughs> that, I'm, that I'm using <laughs> myself. So. Right. Yeah, that's kind of tricky, eh? So that's why I told her, I said, I'd love to do it, but it's just going to basically maybe kind of like throw me off the edge. So I'm just like, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. I said, maybe after. And she was like, okay. I said, if you can think of something else, I'll do it for sure. Right. And she's like, okay. But I mean, it's easy. To me, it's easy. Even now, I mean. Just cutting? Yeah, like just staying on it. Like, I haven't worked out yet. And I specifically haven't worked out yet because I knew we were going to come here. So I was like, I can work out after. Oh, okay. But I got to do a heavy day anyway. So you? I'm just going to be right at the gym for about two hours. Holy. But it's just like five times five, where it's like every compound exercise done five times for five sets. Five reps. Every set has five reps, and it's wow. heavy. Really? 
And that's just to work out the entire body like in one day. So it takes me about two hours. Also on cardio, I do about Stairmaster for about a half an hour. So what? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and after that, yeah, that's that, it. Eh? Then I go home. <laughs> Easy. That's it. And my gym's still over at like five minute walk. So that's nice. Makes it easier because I used to go to uh, Wellington Fitness down there. Right. I would get up at six. Immediately get all my stuff and jump in the car and drive all the way down and then get there and I usually get home by nine and thirty. Wow. And that was for a while. You didn't fit enough of it. Yeah, because then I was like, I, there's a gym right next to me, so why don't I go there? <laughs> Concluding. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go there, and I went there. <laughs> the best move I did because like, it's right there, and I've been to the gym. Like even last night, I went to the gym and it was about ten thirty. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did kettlebell work and then I just nice. that was it. And after that, I went home, took a shower, went to sleep. It's the life. Just the dream. Right. You, can just, you can just like cool off like that and just pass out. Yeah. Because then I just like, oh. Just oh, like, yeah. I guess. Just relax, but. Huh. Did you ever hear of those Instapots, though? Instapots? Yeah, Instapot. It's like a seven in one cooker. Oh, the pressure cooker thing? Yeah. Um, I've never played around with that at all. Anything like that, really. No? I've never even tried it. Um, I know, um, <clears throat> uh, what's his name? Heston. S. M. Blumenthal, like the epic British chef, whatever. Um, I know he loves pressure cookers. Like he'll swear by it. He's just like one of the best tools ever. And like, and I know um, my friend's mom. She like that's the first time I ever had something pressure cooked was at his place, and um, it tastes like she had been braising it for six hours. And she was like, "Oh, that was like twenty minutes." And like, <laughs> like it's mind blowing. It just like, cuts down so much time. And one of my favorite like foods ever is short braised short ribs, right? Yep. I never do it because it takes hours so and hours long. to cook right and um it really is like you don't even get a lot of food out of it <laughs> but they're amazing right the flavor it out of there is just next level right but um yeah but if i i should consider doing it right yeah. i mean i don't know the, the, the kind Thank of you. uh should we save room for dessert today i'm uh, good oh, i'm good yeah separate or or uh separate the um, um over at uh, canadian tire they have them okay Those pressure cook that Instapots, yeah. I got mine for like 90 bucks. That's a good deal. Because they're, they're running about 120, 130 regularly. Right. So, and it was just really like uh, my girlfriend and I go pick up a, uh, I think you call them no, uh, nose, nose cooks or pins, I don't think you call them. Thank you. She had to pick up, she had to pick up a tool for her, uh, her, the dresses she's making. Okay. And I was just in there with her and I was just kind of walking around and I was just happy to see it and I was like, oh no, so they got them here too. And I seen it and it was like sales, like 94 bucks. And I was like, yeah. Well, I was looking at it and Jesus. I was like, I keep talking about them. And I did. Yeah, so I was like, I might as well. And that's what I was going to use it for. It was like pressure cooking because like, just like seeing all the recipes that people were doing. And I was just like, yeah. And you can make, and like the best thing is how like you can obviously cook beans, soak them. And then the next day you can have like, you know, black beans soaked. You can cook, you can have them in like eight minutes. They're done. They get cooked in there for like eight minutes. Boom, they're fully cooked. Really? And just like wow. Any kind of beans, you can do wild rice in there. I think in like twelve minutes. Boom, boom it's cooked. What? And you're just like. So I was gonna start buying those huge bags of rice, and then just scoop what I need, put the water and everything, put the stuff in there, and then close it. Boom, like automatically. Yeah, 10, 12, 13 minutes. Boom, it's all cooked. Wow. I was like Jesus. That's awesome. Okay. I see what you're saying. That one I got too. It's like. <coughs> What's it say? It says you can slow cook, saute, uh, pre pressure cooker. It's a yogurt maker as well. You, what? Make, you can make yogurt in there. That's weird. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> <laughs> you have the option at least. Yeah, at least I know I'm good at it. I can be good at it. Wow. I do a lot of stuff in there anyways. It's pretty good. That's like, unreal. I just got it yesterday. I haven't, I haven't tried it out yet. But, and I know I went to, um, did you ever hear of um, BJ's Food Market in Delaware? No. Uh, I went there yesterday. I don't know why, but I just had an impulse to stop. Yeah. Like, and I wasn't like hungry or anything like that. I just wanted to stop. I just stopped because I dropped my girlfriend <laughs> back up at home, and I was coming home, and I was like, I've always seen this place, but I've never been in there. And I went and stopped, and I was just kind of walking around. I was like, it's pretty good. They have a lot of healthy options, stuff like that, and like nice. you know, a lot of uh, food that's already made. So right. people come in there, obviously, to grab lunch. And in the back, they have their meat freezers. And I didn't even know that, but they sell bison there. Are you serious? Yeah, they have like uh, grass-fed, naturally raised bison. Hiding the good stuff, eh? And right in the back, and I was like, because I was looking for this all this time. The whole time. <laughs> this whole time. Because even um, 
if you go to Loblaws, you can get not even a pound, not even 454 grams. You get 230 at Loblaws. Are you serious? For 14 bucks. Every time I say, are you serious, it pops up Siri. I think I'm saying, hey Siri. <laughs> And Man, then if you, if you go there, it's $10 basically a pound. Wow. That's insane. I was so like, that's, I was mad. Yeah, to good stuff. <laughs> so, I was like, so I bought like two pounds and I was like, all right. And I was gonna think about going back for three more pounds and making a big pot of chili and then using that for my food prep. Putting beans, all kinds of like vegetables and stuff. Yeah, in yeah, there, yeah. Like a, kind of like a bison veggie chili a little bit. Maybe like pinto and black beans, and then just like <laughs> using that for my food prep on everything. Yeah. Whether I wanted tacos, whether I wanted freaking on a pizza. Because the crazy amount of protein. And it's so it, low in fat and calories. Right. It's yeah. It's insane. They have venison there too. There you go. They said um, I don't know if there's uh, steaks or nothing, but they know ground. That's all I've seen. Yeah. Because even when I saw there, also was bison. I was like, oh, I wonder if I got anything else. So I asked the girl. I said, um, when I was checking out, I was like, do you guys have uh? You guys have venison? She was like, uh, yeah, we do. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm just wondering, I didn't see it. She was like, there's none? And I was like, I don't know, I didn't see any. And she was like, there should be. You want me to ask Brad? And I was like, no, you leave Brad alone. I was like, I'm good. I was, leave I'm Brad just, out of this. I was just wondering, that's all. And she was like, oh, okay. Then. And I was like, all right. Nice. It's that's pretty good, good too. I got, um, did you ever have nutritional yeast? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I love that stuff. I recently picked some up because I was like, yeah, I can kind of ease off on more cheese yeah. and get, get with that. I was surprised that that not feel like it gives you, eh? It gives you. I used it when I went, we were, Connor and I went vegan. I tried to use them. Like, I was, I didn't even know what it was because I was like, hey, just use this on, it was some kind of, it's kind of like a pad thai dish kind of type of deal yeah. that, I, that I was doing. And um, they were like, hey, just throw some nutritional yeast on there. I'm like, okay. So I went to the superstore, picked it up, whatever, and like, Kind of threw it in, and I'm like, I kind of read the package. I didn't even read the package, I just threw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was read the package, I'm like, supposed to be like cheese. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, it gives like a cheesy flavor. And then I was like, so I ate them, like, holy crap. <laughs> I was impressed. Like, I w I've been looking for it ever since because they stopped selling it. But yeah. I know, I um, I see it most places, but yeah, that uh, BJ's has it. Nice. So I picked some up because I was like, I'm just going to pick some up. So I got coconut flour, I got nutritional yeast, nice. I had brown rice flour. Yeah. I mean, mean to get almond, but. It's like almost 20 bucks. It's so pricey. Yeah. But there's so many recipes that ask for it. I know. I'm just like, yeah. I'll get it because I can make it work. Almond meal is, is pretty good, but it's also, yeah, super expensive. You can make your own though. True. Yeah, but it is kind of sucks. I was going to make, um, I got the idea from, uh, I don't know if you heard of Onnit Supplements. They're a supplement company online okay. and they have a almond cashew walnut butter. Whew. And I was thinking about trying that because yeah. I, I got big bags of uh, cashews and walnuts already. I just need to get almonds, get them all prepped and ready, and then just throw them in my food processor. Yeah, make Do it super up that way. butter. Epic. Still no peanut butter though. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, it's gotta go in there and get a, not a table, just a tea, and just be like the craving is real. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's anything that replaces that. No. Like even a uh, soda, I just have uh, carbonated water. Yeah. Like uh, carbonated lemon water. That's what I've been drinking yesterday, and they got rid of my soda craving. Really? That or uh, Zevia. Yeah, you love that stuff, eh? I couldn't stand it. You don't like Zevia? I tried it when I went like when I again when I went vegan for a minute there. Um, I, I know you recommended it. I'm like I got okay, I'll try it. Couldn't do it. I don't know something about it. Really? Yeah. yeah. So weird because I don't see a difference. Like, yeah. the sodas even? I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I don't know what it was about it. It just tasted like so empty to me. So empty? Yeah. <laughs> just like, nope. Nothing's there. I don't know. Like I said, I I did prefer I did. I do like it. I mean, even now I'm slowly, like even sprouted breads. I don't get it all the time, but once in a while I'll get some. What's that? It's uh, like healthier bread. Oh, I never Sprouts. Heard of it. Oh. And it's bread? Yeah, like sprouted bread. I never heard of it. You have to keep, you have to keep it in the uh, freezer. Really? Because if you leave it in the fridge, that's when they say it comes alive. <laughs> really? You have to eat it in like four or five days, otherwise it... Oh, wow. So I just keep it in the freezer and take off pieces that I need and eat it. All right. Better work. It keeps it alive longer anyway. That's so. cool. I never heard of that before. Yeah, just like... Uh, well, basically, Ezekiel bread. Okay. That's yeah, what yeah, it's basically yeah. like. All right, all right. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, even my groceries now, I'm just like... 
I don't know, I think I have like a cup and a half of broccoli every meal. And the fish life is still there? Nope. Out of it? I'm gonna wait till the last four weeks of this contest and I'm gonna go hardcore fish. Yeah? Salmon and tilapia. I still can't get over shrimp. No? Even cooked, no. Wow. I, I was gonna do it because like I seen so many recipes that are like, oh, get shrimp, get shrimp. And I was like, I don't know where I was, but somewhere recently I had a piece and I was just like, Ugh. Can't do it, eh? Like, Salmon and tilapia I can do, but for some reason shrimp I just, just can't just just back it out right away. Wow. Just can't do it. Not That's cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird too, because even in um school we had a uh, seafood jambalaya. Oh yeah. Yep. We, we, yeah, we made that. I love jambalaya. And even my uh, chef was like, You wanna take this home? And I was like, uh sure I guess. He's like, just bring back the container. And I was like, Yeah, I just live at residence. He was like, Oh okay, that's cool then. So he gave me like those big four liter uh, pictures. He yeah. poured all the seafood jambalaya we made in there and went right to the top and then he put a cover on there. And he was like, just bring it back tomorrow. And I was like, okay. And then I just went home and me and my brother ate it all that one night. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just crushed it. Because we made some rice. Because we had like a little rice cooker. Yeah. And we just made some rice and then just put the rice there, put the jambalayas <laughs> on there and just fucking ate. Just shredding it, eh? Yeah, because I had crab, I had shrimp, had bassa. Nice. But it had something else. It had something else in there. I can't remember what it was. Crayfish? Maybe crayfish, maybe. Yeah. It had, it had a lot in there anyways. And yeah. I was like, I'm just eating this now. So we just ate it up. That's awesome. I That's did, it. did not mind that at all in college because I'm like, you just got to eat everything right? anyways. That's the best part of a cooking school. I know um, our, I didn't live in dorm, res, like, in the dorms, whatever, but uh, my friends did. And uh, they said what they did is they bought uh, literally one of those 50 kilogram bags of rice. And they just lived off that for the whole entire year. <laughs> and they were just like something with whatever, whatever they brought home from school that day. <laughs> they did. That's basically what I lived off. Was, was my, it? Was uh, rice and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I was, if I didn't have anything in school, like when I had to do, uh, when I had to be a waiter for two weeks. Oh yeah. We didn't get any food, so uh, I'd go home and eat eggs and rice. Just cry. <laughs> just sitting there crying. <laughs> but uh, I remember when I was doing cooking and we worked in the restaurant the last uh, the last day. Yeah. My chef was like, "We can't use any of this because we're getting new supplies and so let's cook it all off." And we cooked off like freaking 13 steaks, like all the seafood. We cooked everything up, and then he was just like, "Take whatever you want." He walked away, and I grabbed like two steaks because nice. I grabbed one because I wanted to be nice to everybody. But sure. there was still like three left, so I was like, "Oh, I'll grab another all right. one." All right. <laughs> And Force me. <laughs> now I'm grabbing whatever. There's like bread and muffins, all kinds of stuff. So I just loaded up for my own personal, yeah, my yeah. Own personal use, and that was it. That's awesome. That's a good deal. And then that was it, because that's where we did our um, what do you call it? Where you got to go work somewhere? Or like placement, whatever. Yeah, apprenticeship. We were thing. supposed to do placement. Yeah. At a restaurant in the city. Yeah. Because I was kind of dreading it, but then I don't know what happened. Something happened, and our, our chefs just said, "No, we're gonna do it in the restaurant here." Saffron. So I was like, oh, that's good, because I can just walk over there. Nice. <laughs> so I just got to walk over there for a waiter. You were dreading it, cooking. though? Well, because I had it like, I was living in residence, right? Oh. And I would have to take a bus to go somewhere right, and everything right, right. like that. So Kinda I was like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I, I, just, I didn't really like the bus system. You know if it was easier. It, was, it beat uh, taking an hour and a half walk to the mall or to Walmart from where I was. Right. I think it was even a two hour walk to the grocery store. I had a uh, roommate, Ivan, that Russian I uh, lived with in the last three, few months. He would get on his bike. Yeah. And he would bike all the way to the grocery Machine. store and bike all the way back. Yep. <laughs> Got the sweet little cards. Yeah. It's supposed to protect from like thievery. Oh, is it? You know, when people scan your wallet and then they can take, so, does take it work? I don't know. I got one for my credit card. I got one for my debit card. I'm sitting here all unprotected. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Yeah. It's all right though. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I was thinking we should have we should have went to uh, um, Heart Sushi. We did 30 hours and sitting there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Zero interruptions. <laughs> so nobody come near us. <laughs> the whole entire time, right? <laughs> nobody ever said anything. They're just like, the best was, uh, <laughs> best was Connor. And he was like, 
hey, can we get some uh, that sauce on here? <laughs> yeah. And that guy literally just like eyeballed Connor and walked away. <laughs> he just eyeballed him. real hard. And Connor was just awesome. like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Have you done a podcast with him yet? No, I like to though. You should. I listen to that every day. Listen to that every day. <laughs> every day when I wake up in the morning. I would though. Like, cool. I, I did ask Connor. No, he said yeah. Nice. But then there's a time he was like, what, what, what are we going to do again? And I was like, it's a podcast, man. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, good. He could feel like probably three hours easy. He's pretty chill. Him. Well, that time uh, you didn't come for burgers. Yeah. I mean, him, I think, same thing. We sat there for like two, two hours, I two bet. and a half hours. And we were just chilling all the time. He's pretty easy going. So we could probably, yeah, fill in, a, fill in a whole podcast. Just Connor. <laughs> Connorisms. Living the Connor life. Living the Connor life. He's crazy. I never see him anymore, though. Like he, uh, he, I work his opposite weekend. Oh, so you never he, see? Yeah, so he only works this Saturday, Sunday, right? Oh, really? And I, that's the weekend I don't work, so. Oh, I, I never see him, unless he fills in a shift or something. I know Andrew's going on vacation, so he's going to take all the D2s, so I'll see him then. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then, yeah. I haven't seen him probably in almost a month. Oh, huh. strange. Our last time probably was when we went to PP. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know I was supposed to see uh, uh, I know Kayla said she doing too. Is she? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So that's what I said. I was, gonna ask, I was still going to ask her as well about it. I don't know what you were talking about. I don't know. I used to work with her all the time. Uh, we talked about like uh, video games we used to play, TV nice. shows, anime. Like, we had yeah, a she's lot into of, that stuff. Yeah, we had a lot in common actually. Because yeah. there's a lot of times she'd be like, I don't know if you know about this. She would say something. I'd be like, I used to watch that all the time. She was like, oh, shit, she knew that. She'd just <laughs> boom, get real excited lay, for it. Lay out the whole lore of the entire show, which is what I'm talking about. Like, oh. That's awesome. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's pretty good. So. Nice. Yeah, I, know she's all, I mean, she's all into the same kind of stuff you were into, like those uh, criminal TV shows and that. Like, she was real into. Uh, did, you, did you ever see uh, Mindhunters? I still never finished it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're breaking my heart, man. Yeah, hey, I finished uh, Black Mirror. Like that's it. right. What you? What changed your mind on it? What was it? Uh, I think it was Metalhead. I know. I think you said you didn't like that one. What was it? That was the one with the little robot. I was afraid you were gonna say it. I was like, I was. That wa- was the one that changed your mind. Well, I was watching. I was like, uh, what did I watch? I watched the last one. I watched the very, very last one first. I don't know oh, why, but yeah. I was just like, I can watch whatever. It doesn't matter. And I watched yeah. the very first one, the Black Museum, and I was like. It's okay. Kind right. of, kind of lame, though. I was like, they're kind of replaying their own. I loved it. They're kind of replaying their own routes now. Right, right. It's not very shocking anymore. Exciting. And I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, I, took, I forgot the next one I watched. Oh, I watched the one with the do- with the mom. I remember when she kept watching her daughter. That thing was implanted. Oh yeah, that was and creepy. I, and I was just like, ooh. Yeah. And then uh, no, I think it wasn't metalhead. It was crocodile. Who was that? That's the one where the girl. Remember she uh, kills her former boyfriend because they they killed they killed that guy. Oh, on the yeah, highway, yeah, right, right, and he was right. like, "I'm gonna tell everybody." She's like, "No, you can't." And she I love that one. Just like that was with him. Yeah. And I was like, "Holy crap!" Because remember that pizza, that pizza uh, van just hit somebody. Boom! Yeah. And the girl's like, "I gotta talk to everybody." And she kind of sends on this whole chase, right? She finally gets to that guy. I finally gets to her, and that woman finally chases her down and gets her, <laughs> gets her husband, freaking gets the baby. He was blind. Oh, okay. I shouldn't say. Spo- I'm allowed to say spoilers on here. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You should watch it. It's been yeah. out for a while. Yeah, it's but, true. Uh, and then freaking uh, the hamster. The ha- Buster, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all like, oh, well. This kid's blind anyway. <laughs> they like to grab the hamster and then. Uh. It's just, it's, it's good, I like it, but my one thing that always gets me is how the uh, episode ends where I want to see what happens to them, but uh. you never get to see it because then it ended where uh, it Jesus. just basically showed the cops get in there and stare at her, right? And then she was just like, F. <laughs> <laughs> and then ends and you know she's busted, but I was yeah. like, I kind of want to see that because. That's the first time I watched the episode where I actually hated a character so much. Yeah. Like, I really didn't like her in that show. I was like, oh, I hope they get her. Then when they got her, I was like, yes, when they can see what happened. Just real happy. It's like, make another episode where we go through the trial. Right? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Just imagine, like, going through those choices, like, oh, man. I know, but I did like Metalhead, though. It was freaky. Yeah. Little robot. Yeah. I just thought that was funny that she blinds it but it gets a knife yeah <laughs> and then like as soon as it hits the wall it runs over to the wall and it's like, it's like stabbing up a wall like, oh, <laughs> it's so funny oh man but i was like yeah that's pretty good though but i don't know i did end up liking it oh i did like the episode too uh that dating app one yeah it was pretty I cool mean, that was i was so weirded out because i was like oh i know what it is i know what it is yeah and then i was like what the fuck 
And the whole like, time. <laughs> then when it finally just showed them all like a bunch of them and their matches and all these weird stuff, I was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then finally it zooms out and it shows on the phone. I was like, oh, the fuck. Like, <laughs> just like layers, Inception yeah. of dating. I know, and I was just like, didn't even see that coming. Dating Inception. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Kind of shows you, I guess, like, maybe what an app goes through or whatever. I don't know. But I don't it, was, know. it was pretty cool. I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. Pretty interesting way to look at it, right? Yeah. I don't know. That's what are you uh, watching now? Um, kind of. Like I watched uh, Altered Carbon. I keep hearing about that show, but I'm kind of on the fence whether I should watch it or not. Is it worth it? It's pretty good. It's pretty unique. Uh, uh, it's okay. Like it's, I'd recommend checking it out anyway. See if you're into it. But it's pretty cool actually. Um, and then I'm watching. Um, Caleb wanted me to watch uh, uh, Last Man on Earth. It's like a sitcom where this guy's like the last guy on earth, whatever. But he's kind of been wiped out, and they're trying to like, and he's trying to look for, I don't know, life. I guess it's, it's okay. I don't mind really loving it too much, but it's, it's pretty <laughs> funny. It's like a sitcom kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of what I'm going through right now. Then I kind of accidentally started watching Friends again. <laughs> like I need, I need a 20 minute show to watch. I'm like, I got like half an hour to kill here. It just like fell like, into like the. the then I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll throw on Friends and like I'll just be, because I, I already know what happens. I have to be hooked into it, or whatever. It didn't, yeah, it yeah. didn't work. I'm like on season seven now. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been crushing uh, Bob's Burgers. Oh, Danielle keeps telling me about it. I, I watched, I, I basically uh, did all seven seasons, and now I'm, now I'm just rewatching them. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Holy. I just watched all it's the episodes. Is that good? It's funny. Danielle told me about it. Like, you have to watch it right now. I'm like, I, okay. I think it's so Then I went home, funny. I saw it was an anime show. I'm like, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> and then now I'm, now I'm thinking about it again. I don't know, like I said, it's a watch, watch couple. See what happens? Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to lie though, because I remember watching it when I was in college and it first ever came on Fox. And the first few episodes are like any TV show, sure. right? It kind of take, takes a little time stride. to pick up, but yeah. I'd say just stick with it. Try, try to stick with it. All right. And then it gets better, because like, I, I don't know, I just think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I, keep watch, I, keep wa- I keep watching it way too much. Is it? Yeah. Like, I'll, like, I'll probably go it. home after this and watch an episode before I go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to put it on Netflix on my phone because I'll just be watching that all the time. All the time. Hold on, let me get an episode. Oh, yeah. Now you can download it offline and everything? So, yeah, just put it on there. <laughs> watch it at work. <laughs> <laughs> you're be like, hey, can you come to my office, please? And like, after this episode. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm almost done. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that um, Mindhunter, though. Yeah. Supposed to be another season? I, I hope so. I don't really know, to be honest. I hope so. It was really good. That one and uh, uh, the other one uh, uh, was the Unabomber. You see that one? No. It's with the, the, the guy who <coughs> made bombs around. It's on Netflix, too. It's really good. Epic. Epic uh, crime story. I thought you'd be all into them because of the crime aspect and everything. I just, uh, it's kind of hard, dude, just because even though I do like it, it's not so detailed as I want it to be. Uh, I think I'm just being picky about it because I read all these books. I read, I know about all this stuff. The Swords so, of Scale and so all that. So detailed and everything about it, and I'm just like, ah. Yeah. I kind of want to, yeah, Sword of Scale. Like, I want, I I want, I want, want to show up. That's too much detail for me. I want Netflix to do an episode like um, Sword of Scale. I couldn't handle it. I would it. definitely watch it couldn't do it that freaking I don't know how you handle it I can't yeah, I try to listen to it and I'm like no you have to stop now and then. I remember I told you there's a couple episodes I listened to it and I was just like after I was done I just like took that sword scale off my list and I was like I'll come back later <laughs> and then like literally a month or two later I'll start listening to it again because oh, it's just so it's so it's too much I don't know there's man. sometimes it's just like it's so heavy. Right. I think there's a time even at, uh, when I used to work at the home, uh, I was doing dishes. And I think I literally had to stop doing dishes, pause it, and then just like switch to another podcast. Really? Like, oh, no, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just became way too much. Just listen to it because some of those episodes, they like, go, oh, that guy, the guy who does it, just gets every detail he can. So it's like he, there's like no like, what happened there? Because he's like, just in case you want to know, it gets pretty graphic. Then yeah. he'll just explain what happened to the person after what the what the guy did, what the guy or girl did to the body or anything like that. I'm just like, oh, wow. cool, yeah. Gets, uh, pretty, gets pretty crazy though. That's a lot of detail you want from Netflix. That's what I would do if I could pitch a show to Netflix. I'd say, let's, let's do a sort and scale a TV show. Because did you see uh, Lore? Remember that podcast? Yeah. Lore, it got its own TV show on Amazon. Really? And I hear it's 
pretty friggin it's kind of close to sword and scale like really like, uh, what it's I heavy hear, what i hear they do in there yeah wow like, i hear it's pretty heavy and it's on amazon and i think that's the best thing about netflix and amazon and all that is because there's no rating system right you can basically go really crazy because yeah. you know tv shows are now you wouldn't be ever be able to get a show like um mindhunter on regular tv no. But since it's on Netflix, they can go as far as they want because huh. there's no uh, system, right? There's yeah, there's no like, governing board kind of thing. Yeah, there's no one to say, oh, you can't show it on TV yeah. because it's, like people can click it if they want. So it's like, yeah. that's what makes the Netflix a little bit of a better choice, I think, for certain TV shows. Yeah, for almost every TV show, I'd say. Basically, no, yeah. I don't really like cable. I can't stand cable no more. There's a few times, well, no, I don't really watch cable no. either, to be honest. The only time I ever watch cable is for sports. That's it. That's true, yeah. yeah. Even, even then, now you can stream it now. Well, even then, I was about to say, uh, if I missed uh, NFL, like a, a week, yeah. on uh, YouTube, if you go to the sports, there's the official NFL YouTube channel, they have the highlights of the week. Really? I'll just watch the highlights for like 10 minutes. That's kind of like, cool. And I'll just be like, oh, that's what happened. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> right that way, if I go to somebody and they're like, shoot, what happened? I'm like, oh, yeah. And then yeah, I tell them right the there, highlights. No, <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, you watched it. And like, no. <laughs> <laughs> just basically lying to them the whole time. The whole time. Carrying a whole conversation. Yeah. So did you have to go to the mall or what? My sister lives around here. Oh. And it was kind of, I was over there. For, I had to go over there for a bit and then. Like, yeah, Wyatt's is right here. It's like she's literally like two minutes away from here. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a good life, man. It's a good yeah. life. Yeah. Just down on the side. Huh? I said just over on the side. On the side? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's there anymore, or what's coming out. On the landmark? Yeah, like what's coming out soon? Well, I know what is coming out, actually. There were some pretty good ones that came out recently, but I never saw any of them. <laughs> there was one with Tom Hanks that looked really good, and there was the one with, uh, I heard Red Sparrow was weird. Um, oh, I just see Mother? Oh, I never watched it. I couldn't. Don't, don't watch that movie. It looked terrible. Or the reviews were terrible, i never seen it. I, I finally got what he was trying to say in there, but the movie just, Didn't it's, execute? it's damn weird. I can't even believe that movie got to theaters. Really? Because it's so bizarre. Is it? Like, you think it seems normal at first, and you think it's all right, but then, like, as as it goes on, especially near the end. Yeah? Gets twisted? It gets messed up. Like, you're just like, I, like, I don't even know what's going on at the time. <laughs> like, wow. I think when it was over, I was just like, that. No. <laughs> like in the theater after, just after, after it was done, I was just like, what the hell was that? Like, I wasted huh? my money on this. <laughs> I don't know, it was damn weird. Even my oldest, uh, me and my oldest brother saw it. Was it? And even he was just like, what a dumb movie. The <laughs> J-Law. That's what I thought. I was like, you know, instead of Harvey Ever Broden, they should have got B-Coop. <laughs> B-Coop and what's in uh, oh, J-Law and, and every Grandpa, movie? what's his name? De Niro? Yeah, De Niro. <laughs> Get the take along. <laughs> Wherever J-Law goes. That's what I'm expecting. The ultimate couple and then their grandpa. <laughs> that's what I'm expecting in uh, Red Sparrow. Yeah, that's right. The head of the organization that sets it up is Rob De Niro, and the guy she falls in love with is B. Coop. Every movie ever now. With every every movie. movie. It's gonna happen. I would always ask her that. So if they, they ever remake Burnt, it's gonna be with J. Law. <laughs> Instead of that one woman, he gets J. Law. That'd be awesome. Not to me. To the fish. <laughs> that came on TV, and I was just Did like, it? and I was like. No way. And I was like doing stuff, doing yeah. stuff. And also I was like, oh, it's there. And I grabbed my phone and I, was, <laughs> I recorded it. I was like, you know who's going to like this? We appreciate this. is Josh. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Not to me. To, to the fish. <laughs> oh, man. I was dying in the airplane when I first saw that. I was like, oh, we can watch movies. Like, it just happened. <laughs> I was sitting there watching. I was just like, <laughs> don't laugh for a long the in the airplane. Oh, man. Oh man, I was such a <laughs> that's stupid, but it was just such a dumb scene. Right? <laughs> well, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, and I got drops of spices? Yeah. I'm just like, well, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you got it. You're done. Hey, buddy. Yeah, man, so. You still in school then? Yeah, I am uh, just finished, I wrote my exam for course number five. And then, so then I'm waiting for my marks to come back and then I'll 
it'll be my last course number six so then I'll be done so hopefully by May June ish I'll be finished up with it what was that one for um, food service nutrition manager so I'll be able to be a nutrition manager at like a retirement home or like in a hospital or something something like that or anything along those lines be able to run a kitchen like that so yeah I kind of it's pretty good I like it um, Keeping the food industry kind of, but it's hard <laughs> to make money <laughs> in the food industry sometimes, you know? I know. I was looking for that because I, I was, I tried to work at uh, Digital Extremes. Oh, yeah? Video game studio in London. Oh, yeah? And uh, I never got a, never got anything back. Sent my resume and everything. And, Didn't happen. And I sent another one to uh, London Bridge, which is uh, child care services. Okay. They wanted to cook. Nice. And I didn't get anything from back from there either. Well, the thing about that was too is uh, I sent it too late. Oh, yeah. Because it was past the date. Right. And then you realize it, and I was like, ah. Oh. And then I think not too long after, my brother was like, oh, you know that it's back up on Indeed. And okay. I was like, oh, really? And I was like, oh, forgot to apply. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just totally passed my mind. I was like, shit. Oh well. So I was like, ah, oh, well, I'll look for something. Yeah. I mean, even now I'm just like I'm not too too busy on right. it, but like even now. Um, I actually went forward with my doing other things. For different projects? Yeah, other projects for now. Yeah. Just because I do have uh, Option. A, a bit of money and time to actually work with it. So I was like, right. you know, I'm going to look for other options to see what I can do. And yeah. That's right. the best thing I can do right now is just community health promoter. I mean, like I said, it's two years, four semesters. But I can, if I get approved, say tomorrow, I can start next Monday. Really? Because it's online, right? And, right. And even on the uh, course. Because the school is out of Waterloo, right, right. north, <coughs> so it's at um, North Bay. Sorry. Oh, North Bay. Not Waterloo. North so, Bay. Uh, Nipissing, with whatever. Yeah, so like it's kind of up north. So I was like, I was like, all right then. So I was like, it's not too far. All I gotta do is just get it, and then yeah. start next. If I start next, like I said, Monday, I could just go and go and go and go and go. So that'd be awesome. Yeah, hopefully, because like then I already know my brother. No, never mind. I'm not gonna say on a podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so, like, I'm just—I just mean like that would go open open up some more options. Yeah. Like food and food uh, health promoter. I mean, there's jobs I want to do, but I was trying. I was uh, gonna start a small business. Yeah. But I put that on the back burner for now because even though the guy I was dealing with and helping with business plan ideas, he was great at it there was still confusion with what we wanted to do and uh, i knew that was going to get ironed out eventually but i said you know what i wouldn't really be doing what i wanted to do anymore because i would be running the company oh okay. yeah because even he told me you, there's two kinds of people out there there's ones who work with people and there's ones that people work for right he goes which one do you want to be and he goes personally i like being somebody everyone works for i like having employees i don't like having co-workers and i was like makes sense so we kind of ironed a lot of stuff out but then i thought about those like when he told me the stuff I'd be doing, I was like, I wouldn't even be cooking anymore. Like, I wouldn't be teaching, I wouldn't right. be cooking, I wouldn't be doing, I'd be basically at the top telling people, go here, do this, go there, do this. Organizing go. everything. Yeah, like, I wouldn't be cooking, I wouldn't be teaching one. I was like, that's kind of a bummer, because I would I would really get bored of that. I know, because that's like the whole, that's the dream, right? You keep, when you, want to, you want to be hands-on with your trade, that's the whole point of it, right? Yeah, and like. You spend all these years developing your skills just to like, okay, I'll never use these again, thanks. <laughs> just be sitting at the top. Remember the good old days? <laughs> Ooh, you look like the uh, king from uh, Rohan, Lord of the Rings. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just all shriveled up. <laughs> right. That's what I was like, eh. You I don't know no about power. that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was like, eh. I'm like, I can't do that. So that's why I was like, I better look for something. And uh, yeah. Danielle's the one who found it. Is it? The community health promoter. Nice. She's like, look at this. And I was like, well, that's pretty awesome. And then I talked to the people that would uh, could fund me. Yeah. And they said, yeah, we'll do it. Just sign up. So when you hear back, uh, I, I sent it out. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah. I sent it out Monday. Okay. So, so I know I know it was a day off, yeah. but still they got it Tuesday or Wednesday. So they're gonna probably go through the application process, and they'll still fund me because it's in the same lane of what I'm doing. Okay. Because health, food, right. nutrition, all kind of works together. Can you wheelhouse? So like yeah, it's it's gonna stay in the same lane. Like if I was like, hey, I want to be an iron worker, they'd be like, whoa, I don't think we can do that. That's just how their funding works. You have okay. to stay in your same lane. So I was like, I was like, eh, I'll do it. So I mean, it's something I want to do, anyways. Yeah. Huh. But I applied for uh, catering to do catering in Oneida. So. So uh, for that, do you need like all the like? Do you have all the equipment for it and stuff like that? For. Of catering. Uh. 
like all these hot plates. Like, I, cause I want to bust into catering too, but like, the startup is so crazy. Like, you have to get these hot plates. You have to get like all your utensils. Oh, you can rent all that kind of stuff. But you, I don't know. It's like it's a lot of startup. You know what I mean? Well, the thing about the, the Oneida one is, uh, you basically are just going to be working at uh, the community center most times. Is it? And what happens is, uh, so you go to you go to this board, and there'll be like say eight papers on the wall, and they're all jobs right. for different times and days. Sometimes it can be one day, sometimes it can be two days, and they'll say, "Here's my menu. Here's what I want you to make," and it's going to have like snacks. And if it just says snacks, you can basically do whatever you want. And if it says uh, for lunch, if it has tuna salad sandwiches, tomato soup. Uh, I think you could you can kind of go crazy if you want, but right. it has to be tomato soup. But if right. you want to jazz up a little bit, go ahead. So, that, or if it just says lunch, if you talk to them, they'll sometimes just say, "Do whatever you want." That's it. And you basically use the kitchen in the community center. All right. And they have you know eight burners, two stoves. They got one of those super ovens that like I guess can cook a whole damn turkey in like an hour or two. Really? So they got like all that stuff wow. in there. <clears throat> so they, they basically get all that ready. All you have to do is take the bid, and then once you get it, and, they, and then once you get it, then they'll say, okay, here you go, and you and then you do it, then you can go do it. That's kind of awesome. And the money, I guess, is it's different varieties. Two days more, you know. Obviously, more time than we need, more money needs to be taken. Then you have to pay you. How many people are you bringing along to work with you? Because right. then, like, if I did it, I put mine in and I got accepted. Mine is, uh, my just get ready catering. <laughs> and then the owner's me. Nice. And then my number and all that stuff's on there. So, like, mine's up there now. And then, like, people will see that I'm there. And they can. And then they, if they I, I think if they want to specifically contact me, they can. They can say, oh, we want him specifically. Right. Or they say, here's the bidding, then I have to go get it myself. Right. But. One thing I remember uh, somebody said once is you should have like, I guess kind of an incentive to, for people to pick you or right. want like them to say, yeah, we want them. Like uh, some people will give something extra. Okay. Like if you pick me, I will make, I don't know, 30 muffins for you. I don't know why. But you just, you just do that. So they'll be like, oh, we don't have to pay for that? No, that comes out of me. And they're like, okay. It's kind of like a bribe. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Like you know, you want to pick somebody more than the other people, so right. you, or you want to beat them, beat them out. So they're like, okay, so but. that's pretty cool. That's why it works. It's kind of like a free market and catering there. Eh? Yeah, but huh. I mean, like, if you do have extra equipment, obviously you can use it. I mean, right. I got a pressure cooker now. So. <laughs> yeah. Bonus. I could probably go kill it now. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever I need to do. Right. Just like braise like ribs ten minutes. Take it out through more ribs in 10 minutes take it out <laughs> two more ribs in 10 minutes it's like no, another thing I almost thought about getting was a sous vide cooker ooh yeah because I think with the sous vide cooker on Amazon they had a deal for the not a deal but like a sous vide cooker a big giant Basin. like a uh, four yeah quart and then like um, the bags just not the um, the machine with the vacuum sealer yeah not just that but like the like the bags like just a block bags right? right. specifically kind of made anyways with okay. clips right right I think they wanted like 250. I was like, that's not too bad. That's not terrible. Because obviously the machine is 180, 190. Right. But then all the rest kind of builds up to the, the bucket, the bags. Yeah. And then that's it. And I was like, uh, some of them too have those, uh, I think it's an app where like, if you're like, okay, I want, there's an app I know that you can get and you can be like, okay, I want medium rare steaks. Okay. And then it's going to say, okay, put it at, put it at 140 for 20 minutes. And then you put all your steaks in or whatever like that, clip them on so they're tight and they go in there. After that, you take them out. That's when you just give them the lines, and then that's it. Wow. And then it's already done. That's pretty cool. You eat salmon, you can do ribs, you can yeah. do whatever you want. So I was like, next level. That'd be good. I never actually, that's one thing I never played around with either is sous vide cooking. They like forced us in uh, St. Clair. Yeah. Like they were really, really like, when you guys leave here, go get a sous vide cooker. That's really? what they're telling us. They constantly were pushing it on us. And I, I didn't mind it, because like I said, we, they, we did burgers with it. We did steaks. I think we did salmon. Wow. And they and they told us that too. They said, no, you can do all night. Because I think it was 58.2 right. for 24 hours. Okay. And then uh, your steaks will be done. Like well done or medium rare or something like that? Yeah, around that time. Because they did uh, 58.2 for one day, or 24, 48, and 72. And they gave us all of them. Like they let us taste the one. 72 hours? Day. Sitting wow. in that water, just slowly cooking. It's like the opposite of a pressure cooker. <laughs> It is, isn't it? Because I'm just like, eh, kind of taking along, but yeah. 
I guess it depends what you want to do. If you uh, the amount of flavors you can infuse in there would be insane, though. Yeah, because they said uh, they were actually yeah they were putting like you know thyme, rosemary, yeah. whatever, salt, pepper, it and leach right through it. Eh? Let it sit in there and it just. Wait, is it like a salt solution in there to eat as well, just or just water? Just water. That's all we've seen because they just use water and they put the mach- they put the little clipper in there and they just put down the time they want it or the uh, temperature and that was it. You guess if it's salty, more like curing it, right? Yeah. And I think like. How do they prevent like like foodborne illnesses at 72 hours? I guess if it's above 60, then it doesn't really matter, right? Should be okay, yeah. I mean, it was a slow cook, but yeah. I don't know. That's what they said. They're like, oh, geez, this is what, like six years I ago? I know. This is six years ago? I'm trying to think about it because know. they actually gave us every single thing that every other chef told them. Why would you use that? Like, it's going to do this and this and this and this. And yeah. Uh, our they head, just, just our proved the whole thing. Yeah, our, our head chef, uh, Chef Mark, was like, well, here's the thing. He goes, if anyone tells you that, tell them this, tell right. them this, tell them He like, just basically told us every single argument chefs have, he says, they broke them down. Nice. And he says he remembers doing it at the, I think, the, the gala, the Windsor Gala that they have at St. Clair. Yeah. They put on, I think there's a chef that kind of tried to do that, and uh, Chef Mark kind of just told him off about it. Yeah. And I guess he just kind of stormed <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> just like, nope, and left. Classic argument, we know you're wrong. Just throw them off. <laughs> yeah, just like, put her back and you leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like your classic 2 a.m. trip. I'll be right back. <laughs> Never just come back. Somebody's up at 4 a.m. He's coming back. He's, he's he'd be right back. <laughs> it's like, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. That's <laughs> awesome. Or you can get coaches nachos. <laughs> Here for nachos. I'll be right back. <laughs> just eat some and ditch because I'm going to meet you guys. Burger, burger. Oh, man. Oh, that was awesome. And that reminds me, did you get your classic uh, MeUndies ad on here yet? <laughs> no, I'm looking for it. It'd looking be for, awesome. If you're listening out there. <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> I want, Yo, me, want me undies I want some, I want me undies. <laughs> you know what, to be honest, out of all the podcasts I listen to, that's one of the uh, ones I haven't heard in a while. MeUndies? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard that one in a while. I still, hear about, I still hear about Casper. Uh, Chanel. <laughs> I can't believe that. This is brought to you by Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> when you're rich as fuck. <laughs> just like, okay. Who do you think is listening to this stuff? <laughs> I guess he was like, oh, my audience isn't like that. I better switch to something else. I'm brought to you by Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> cheap enough for you idiots. <laughs> Don't wait for his pod. Well, I guess it'll be another year, right? It should be this year. And uh, hopefully, when, did, when was it? Is it August? Is it August? I think it was. I mean, uh, I follow him on Twitter. Do you? So. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll let you know there. Yeah, right? he'll eventually be like, oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. To go golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? And then, uh, um, yeah, just, yeah. Just he show his, uh, the history and then it's gonna have like yeah chanel ferrari <laughs> bentley <laughs> rolex <laughs> she's just gonna shot of michael like coming out of a ferrari she's but, pimped out <laughs> yeah. like those gucci glasses yeah, sunglasses <laughs> oh man it's like when you're rich as <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he was like, I, I'm surprised that my uh, listening audience is so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> so you know when they sponsor you, you give, they give you free stuff. That's why I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Oh, man. Now he's got to go back to uh, Blue Apron and oh. MeUndies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait, was that the one he did? That was a Blue Apron. Blue Apron. And, uh, That's the one everybody still does. Oh, and his uh, it, uh, Zip Recruiter. That's the other one, yeah. Zip Recruiter, Blue Apron. Yeah. Yeah, I still hear people talk about Blue Apron. I never tried it to this day. I never, well, is it only in America? Is it? No, you can get it here. Can you? But I don't know. I just, I just tell people like I think we're, I think we're cooks or chefs. Sure so. Make my own food. <laughs> yeah. So. That's true. Because I was thinking, uh, the biggest insult I think to a chef is if you got him a, a couple months of a uh, Blue Apron. <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to say? It's like, I don't think you can cook. I don't think you can cook, man. <laughs> Straight away. It's like, yo, stick, sort of the stick to ordering it. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, well, I eat at your restaurant, so I'll bug you this subscription. <laughs> it's 
So maybe you can ask for some help from them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh man, just be savage. Just like, yo, we're killing it. Yeah. Is hockey back then? Hockey's back. Is it? Yeah. From when? From where? Huh? From where? I don't know, was it off? No, it's still going? I didn't even know. It's still a sport. It's, it's, it's still it's, happening. NHL is still out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they, never, they never break for the Olympics. They never did? No. They didn't even go. The NHL. So. They didn't allow any of the players? No. Or didn't they say they were going to stop anyway? Yeah. That's why they did the World Cup, like, what was it, last year? Because they're like, yo. Well, I can do Olympics. Yeah. So, yeah. They're so, still going now, so Leafs are killing it. Knights are still doing good. Yeah. That's right, eh? Yeah. They're, uh, yeah. They're right We're a team just started and doing pretty good. I thought they were going to be like the Washington Wizards and suck for like a couple of years. Yeah, I know. That's what everybody kind of expected. It's like, yo, these but guys yeah. are going to blow. They're like, letting nope. it up. Yeah, and then there's uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right, World of Warcraft. It still exists. It's still going with that? Not as hard as it, as it was before, but I'm still all about it. I got a new. I got a new one. Uh, the demon hunter. <laughs> so I have a war. I have a warlock, and then I have uh, a death knight. I have a priest and a demon hunter. So you got four characters. Got four characters. Is there one that gets played more than the other? Yeah, my warlock's the most played. But I'm going hard with my demon hunter right now because he's new. For all the fans out there that care about it. For all the fans of World of Warcraft. Yeah, throwing it out there. World of Warcast, get ready for World of Warcast. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get ready to everything. Yeah, get we're ready. Bro, get bro, we're bro, ready bro, for Logan Review one day. Move our, oh yeah, get ready reviews. That was my that was my plan to when when uh, when you first brought up the whole Get We're Ready channel on YouTube. Was I wondered if I said my plan was if I said Get Get we're Ready enough, I bet you're gonna slip up and say it one time. And it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, if play a year and a half straight, all I said was, get ready for this, get ready for anything. You never once slipped up. <laughs> I was so disappointed. <laughs> it never happened. So I need it to happen. I need it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> get ready for World of Warcraft. For some World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Like I said, I was going to play it, and then I stopped and said, something bad's going to happen if I keep playing it, so I better yeah. stop. You saved your life. I think saved I got to, life. like, level four, and I was like, <laughs> nope, and I uninstalled it and everything, and I was like, because it was, like, um, a free... Up to level I, 20. I, yeah. yeah, I think I got to play for free until I was level 20 or something, you had to pay, but I was, like, got to level five, and I was just like, something's going to happen if I keep playing it. Yeah, so I was like, I just installed it and everything. Can't suck to it, eh? Yeah, a little bit. And I was like, I can't do this, so I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you go hard on um, uh, Overwatch, right? Yeah, well, now I've been going hard on uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, yeah? It's going, it's going ham. The like, only, only reason why I do that, though, is because uh, my oldest brother is playing it, too. Is he? So we, like, team up all the time. And nice. we'll just, like... Just shred? Yeah, just take people out. Nice. Where, where is that? Look, what city is it in? Uh, Los Santos. So T. Kanye going ham in Los Santos. Right. <laughs> going ham. T. Kanye West. T. Kanye West. I heard that in a while. Tico and Yote. Right? It's a hashtag for life. For life. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What? Uh, Kayla, her uh, husband, has his uh, video game channel. He does? Yeah, he's got uh, on Twitch. I didn't know that. He, he does uh, tank, those tank battles. Oh, World the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's, I think it's I Am Weasel. <laughs> you were watching it? Yeah, I watched it a couple of times. Like, awesome? I was sitting there and I was like, oh. Finally, I was just like, I'm going to poly shore him. Where I was going to be like, the weasel. <laughs> <I was> gonna, <laughs> <laughs> like in the chat bar, I was going to like try and put up pictures of poly shore and everything oh, yeah. like that. But I was just like, nah. So I just got sad. They're like, yeah, I watch it now and then. It's pretty good. Yeah, it puts up a lot. And like, he, just, he doesn't play, but it's like he's hosting it oh, okay and then like you watch all these other players play oh you like commentates on it no i don't do that it's just like you can just watch the battles so oh really as, yeah so far as i said i was just like oh it's cool that's random yeah i was just on twitch watching it <laughs> it's 
pretty cool though. I've never seen anything like uh, what the tanks. I don't know what it's even about. You just play tanks and you just blow each other up. And that's it. Does there like a strategy to it? Yeah, there is, but yeah. in the end, you're still just a tank blowing up tanks. Blowing up <laughs> with all the tanks. Fair enough. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> you watch much of the Olympics? Uh, I caught myself watching figure skating one night. Oh, that Tessa and Scott, whatever. Is that was that the uh, people that stole everybody's hearts? Yeah. They're like, oh yeah, they're, they're hooking up, and they're like, no, we're not hooking up. They're hooking up? No, they're not. That's oh. the whole thing. People want to like hook, want to hook up, or whatever, but they're like, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> and like, and then like, that's why they say like, don't be stealing our hearts. <laughs> that's the. Be sad That's if the drama. If you're the guy and the girl's like, it's never gonna happen. You're like, wow, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, it's him. He's the one who always says that. I think he's like married or something like that. Yeah. What's his husband's name? Though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> he's all like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Tennis. Living that. Feel like a skating life. I think that's a rerun, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was on last night when I was at the gym. Oh. Uh. All the way in Korea. Did we win? What's that? Did this? Uh, I didn't even know. I saw somebody have a list. Oh, she fell. She didn't win. She sucks. <laughs> she fell. <laughs> sucks. Spinning out. <laughs> or my first time figure skating. That's all I used to do when I was younger. Did you actually? Not like figure figure skate, like jumps and everything like that, but yeah. I used to just skate around just for fun. Like it's awesome. all my friends were like playing hockey and I was the only one on the other side of the field. Just bombing around <laughs> with a pile on. Going in circles, spinning around. <laughs> That's funny. Helping other people out. Everyone else is doing hockey. And I played hockey once, felt really, really sick after and was like, really? I'm never gonna do this. <laughs> Automatically it's because of hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that dumb? Because I was like, you know, when you like just play and play and play and play yeah. and you're just like Breathing real hard and everything like that, just going going to town. I was going ham on that, <laughs> and in the end, I was just like, "Oh, I feel sick," and I was like, it's "Probably hawk." <laughs> Something stupid like that. So I was like, "Yeah." Avoided it forevermore. To this day, never played hockey. Again. Never played hockey again, <laughs> but I'll skate. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, they're not gonna win. No, <laughs> Score of zero. Score of zero to zero. How do we, how do, we do? About 125. Nice. How do you close it out? Nothing. I just tell people, yo, we're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's different too, because some there's people, no, there's some no. people, there's a closeout, and other people, it's just like, see you guys like, like Danielle's is just like, all right, we gotta go we gotta see you. Boom, right, yeah. and then like, you, well, you probably heard with like Zach or like yeah. uh, other people, there's actual kind of a closeout where I say it, but you just want to spiel kind of thing. Well, I also, too, I have uh, intros and outros, right? Oh, okay. So at the start, I'll talk about the episode. So, like, I have to explain things about where we are and stuff like that just in case maybe something is kind of off here. Right. I don't know how this is going to sound after. Yeah. Cause, like, because the music and everything. It should we're be fine. We're eating the whole time. <laughs> it should be fine, though. I mean, I don't say big deal. Hopefully. But, uh, and then other times, depends. This yeah. is what I was going to do before, though. There's other people I was going to meet, and then I told them, well, why don't we just go to a restaurant? Might be noisy, and I'm just like, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll this. find out. Like, I don't know. You about to re-record it? I don't know. I can just. I talk loud. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know too. I don't remember because I knew you had outros because uh, I think it was the second episode. Right in the middle of the entire episode, the outro comes on. It started talking right over top of her. <laughs> Did you ever notice it? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. You did the whole outro. Meanwhile, she's like talking in the background and like. <laughs> Like, what the heck? Then it kind of goes away. Then like, oh okay. <laughs> it was funny. It was like laughing away. <laughs> yeah. You ever listen to them after? Or yeah. You listen to all the whole thing? No, I just, just I just it? listen to parts. Yeah. I was eventually gonna start editing them to the point where I was like, I'd listen to it, and then have to go, uh, mark out. Like if we were right here right now, and I had something where I had to write, okay. so I keep it near me. So like if I was gonna ed uh, edit, every time we swore, I would write down the number of the day. Oh. So when I go back to editing, I just jump to it and then psh, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, like the, or at least like block it or put All something the swearing, a sound. Okay. Yeah, but 
I just tell people I don't care, you know, I just listen to it. It's just like how we talk. I'm not going to censor it or anything. It's just how we talk, it's how we talk. Yeah. So I just got to get used to it, that's all. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad way to do it, though. Head bomb with the music. It's for days. For all you viewers out there. How do you, is there a way to tell how many people listen to it? Uh, no. There's no way to tell it. I think it goes by the download. So when I put it back on iTunes, and if people would listen to it there, or if I go to YouTube, oh, the view so many views it's got. Right, right, right. Even if somebody was to say, uh, "Oh, I listened to it ten times," and there's only twelve views, I would still say, "Well, you know what? Twelve views. Still got twelve views. So <laughs> I'm gonna say it's twelve different people." <laughs> right. So. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. And do your classic spiel for like. Hit the like and subscribe. Yeah, hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the button down below, in the description down below. Yeah, I make up fake ads. Fake ads. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, those are uh, not tricky, but they're, uh, you gotta negotiate. Like, you can't just be like, oh, me and these ones a sponsor. Okay, then. I'll put you guys in somewhere. Like, they, they actually go, where are we gonna be? Really? How long are you gonna make us in your ad? So, if I say, okay, I'll do a minute. Honestly, I would just say I'll do a minute plus, meaning I could probably go two, three minutes on me on these. Really? That's what I would say because then like it's like, and I'll put you at the start, and right. if they're like, no, we don't want that, so okay, I'll put you in the middle, but you can't put them in the last fifteen minutes. You can't because it's illegal. Uh, I don't know how that works, but there's an actual law somewhere in the law or something that says like uh, you can't put them at the last fifteen, twelve minutes. You have to put them earlier. Wow. So you like there'd probably be a point in here where I could I would just be like. Uh, if we're talking, I would just cut it and have me say, before we continue on, let me tell you about me on news. And then just go on. <laughs> and then just talk to it about that. But other than that. Yeah. Huh. That's great. I didn't know there was a lot about that. That seems kind of random. I think, yeah, it's, it's not like a real harsh thing, but I think they can punish to the point where they say, don't do that again, or we're going to take it away. Right. Makes sense, I guess. I don't know how much money it is like a either. a contract kind of thing? Yeah. All right. Huh. Okay. Breach. Yeah, give me my contract. So did you go back to underground burrito? The back alley burrito? Back alley. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to underground burrito? <laughs> yeah, I've been back there. I love it there. I've probably been back there a couple. Well, I gotta. I can tell you exactly how many times I've been there. <laughs> got a punch card? Yeah. Just hashtag living it with the punch card. Love my punch cards. Jeez. Seven times I've been there. And how many do you need? 20. <laughs> you need 20? <laughs> Man, most people are curious enough to give you 10 or do 10. Like right. You get a free burrito. <laughs> oh, we get to, I think I did 20. I don't even know what you get free. It doesn't tell you what you get free. Play with taco, free taco or something. <laughs> it's like, hey, you made it. You know what? We'll give you these chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get a free pat on the back. <laughs> Good job. And they walk away. Right. I, I, w I just wanted to buy their freaking hoodie they had there. I was like, how limited Back edition is that? Back burrito. Some people was like, whoa. But then I was afraid too. Some of you were like, yo, where's this Back Alley burrito at? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Feel comfortable right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be right back. And they just follow you around. You see, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> waiting, in the, waiting in his Back Alley. Just yeah. waiting. <laughs> you see, be right back. <laughs> Good hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys do any contests? You got any Connor doing anything? Yeah, um, burger, actually. Burger um, bets? I'm surprised he didn't show up. I actually own a burger. Oh, did we, he? We, we bet on a leap game. I saw and I lost, so. He actually won because Mickey betted him five bucks. And, um, and then I'm like, oh, go, I'll get in the action. If, you, if you're trying to win, do you owe me a burger or vice versa? Yeah. And they ended up losing. So he got five bucks and he asked him a burger. So. So he just randomly didn't show up to get his burger? He didn't show up. Now that I know this, I'm going to uh, text him and be like, uh, thanks for the burger. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, you didn't show up, so uh, Josh gave it to me. He donated it. <laughs> he donated it to, to me. worthy cause. <laughs> <laughs> Super <laughs> serious. What? Okay. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's crazy. And I know, yeah. So, yeah. And then there was another one, too. I think you're... What was it, though? Was the, uh, we've done three total. Oh, the one with the, with uh, you, with the uh, whole what was it like? No sugar or whatever, right? Oh, the weight loss thing. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. 
I think that one just fell through. That kind of blew up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I like, I, I just. After everything, right? Yeah, like I lost all my stuff too. I was just like, ah, so, so I didn't going. worry about it. I wasn't still texting you guys, yo, with the burgers. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just like, eh. Did you actually end up hitting your goal weight? No. 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 At that month of December sucked. I just fell, I just fell off everything. So like, I didn't, I think I, last half of December, I didn't watch my diet. I just ate whatever I just did. I didn't really work out. Like, well, that was brutal, right? Just completely fell off everything. So yeah. I was just like, okay. so that's when in January, I was like, okay, I gotta do something. Back on track. Yeah, so I get back on track. But yeah, so, we said there was three. So in Leaf the Games, one. that one, and then. The vegan one. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> the OG, the one that started it all. Yeah. I, can't, I couldn't do vegan, man. When I tried to do it every two weeks, I got so sick by the end. Yeah, I know it's it's kind of rough in your system, eh? It is because like you're switching over to like because your body's so used to like meat. Yeah. And like I'm talking about like people think like oh you're still getting protein. It's like yeah, but where's all the other amino acids? Like, right. That's the extra problem that nobody's getting. And I don't think I was getting enough. No. Because my body was just <laughs> getting shot. You, you tried a bunch of stuff like that too. You tried um, what do you call that? The one where you would uh. You only go from like eight to five or whatever it was. Oh, uh, intermediate fasting. Intermediate fasting, and then there was another one you were trying too, wasn't there? Yeah, I was trying a different bunch of different yeah. diets. Uh, I was gonna try keto. That's what I was gonna try That's next, was, but I actually yeah. didn't try it. No, because I uh, it freaked me out because when I was re- researching into it, I found the keto flu, and they say it can be sometimes just as bad or sometimes worse than an actual flu. Wow. And they say that's natural too. Like really? To go through, to go through it. So they said there are people who don't go through it at all, but they said some people will get it and it just Wipes you hits out. you hard. Wow. Yeah. They said you'll feel like you have the flu real bad. So I was like, no thanks. I was just like, I don't think I can handle that. Yeah. I hate the flu. So. Right? Yeah. I feel like you, like, feel like you feel like that, babe. Eh? And like, I would do it if I was hunting because I'm, like, let's say I did get a deer with another guy. We could cut it down the middle. I got all that meat. Then I, just, then, then I just clean the deer and take the fur off and like you know, take all the any, any all the meat I want. And I got like what maybe I don't know 20, 30 pounds of meat half the really? deer. All right, even if it's a big buck, could be like over hundred pounds, fifty plus pounds of meat. So just clean up, eh? Yeah, yeah just like that. and yeah. and that's what I just do. It'd be it's it natural. Sheep. It's fresh. I know he wasn't eating crap. I hope. <laughs> yeah, you can't really control that, but yeah. <laughs> Huh. I mean, if you're lucky and you go up north, you can get a moose. Fucking guys are like four, no, three, three hundred pounds. Right. Yeah. But obviously, you're most likely going to be with a team. Like you might need four guys, right? Might. Some people do it too. It's a lot of meat, though. You got to have a lot of freezers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can. Those things are huge. You can have like a. I, I do hear people say though, when they see a moose live, it's very majestic. Like mooses look very. Like a fairy tale, like regal kind of thing. Yeah, because they're like you know, this massive animal with the, with the horns and everything. <laughs> yeah, just like, right. All oh, the craze. Huh? Then it runs at you. Oh yeah, my. So I have my. Um, I can't remember. I already told you this enough, but like I know my, my brother actually ended up hitting a moose with his car, and I know she's still like because his wife is with him, and she's still messed up over like all these concussions. Since, it's been like since August. Wow. And she said like. It could take up to seven years to like fully heal and like everything and like that's too bad. It's crazy. Those things are they're massive, right? They can do a lot of damage. Yeah, I can't so now we hate now we hate moose. So. <laughs> oh, not enough. They not eat the meat. <laughs> <laughs> right. It may be nice to go to those. Uh, I guess if you could afford it to fly down to go hunting for elk. Oh, okay. Because like uh, we used to be down to like what two thousand elk, about a hundred. 150 years ago, really? it was like the mass uh, hunting that right. they did in the day, and then they let them grow because uh, was it uh, Eddie Roosevelt? Yeah, no that the fucker's name? Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, yeah Eddie. Teddy. <laughs> he put that lawn that uh, keeps certain nature lands protected. Yeah, protected. Right. And when he put that law in, they couldn't just mass up hunt like they used to. Right. So I hear elk is up to like 25,000 now in the United States. Wow. So it's too many, but you still have to get tags. Like right. You can't just too much deer around here, right? Yeah, they're almost extinct, and now they're like everywhere. Well, it's uh, if you go to New Jersey, I don't know how good they are because I don't know what they're eating. But in New Jersey, uh, they're like rats. They're so bad. Really? There's tons of friggin' deer. Wow. Tons to the point you have to, you have to hunt to control the population. Right. Otherwise, they're just gonna eat every garden. They're gonna eat cornfields. They're gonna mass wipe everything. So you really? Have to. Same thing in Texas. 
you it, have to hunt no pigs wild pigs is it they breed in like litters of 20 oh and they said they just like will just swarm over crop fields and destroy it so people uh texas actually has laws where they tell people just hunt go to town and go hunt them that's crazy and they eat them yeah yeah they're good to eat oh, yeah. but like but like <laughs> like there's just so many that's nuts eh because they like i said they breed like crazy huh and it's not easy killing them either because they said if you shoot one the other ones purposely zigzag really so you, so they you can, can learn yeah because they learn they know they know if they can one gets hit they're all like oh shit they just went back <laughs> and forth and it's, it's crazy they hit them again so. i know um there's this podcast uh, other podcasts i listen to uh freakonomics right and they oh, were yeah. talking about stuff like this like where there's strange laws you can make or actually make the problem worse yeah so they actually made a law where like hey if you bring me a pigtail then you um will give you a bonus whatever and we'll pay you for whatever and they said like the problem was that um and they tried the same thing with india with with rats i think if you bring us in a rat's tails whatever we'll 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 give you whatever and then um a certain amount of money for each one but they said the problem was that actually the population of like of the rats actually went up in the end because people were just they sit around and they instead of trying to catch them they would just breed the rats oh. <laughs> and they would, they would hand, hand them in <laughs> and so there was actually more rats running around people were collecting all this money for it and like this thing was a big disaster <laughs> never even came to my mind right and just, people were just breeding them and breeding them there you go <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah so it's kind of tricky right Jeez. and it's like the same thing with uh, with cars like we're like um, you can only if you have because um, there's India, the traffic in India was so bad because um, there's so many people trying to drive. So what they would do, so if your license plate ends in a certain letter, then you, that's the day you, you could drive or whatever. And so what people would just do is buy three or four different cars and they would just drive every day anyway. But there's four times the amount of cars on the road all of a sudden because... <laughs> so you got to think about all these laws that people put in place where how it could backfire, right? <laughs> it's like they don't think about... Yeah with all the I mean maybe they do think about like certain ones but they don't think about all the consequences all the loopholes yeah right? that people are going to find because people always find loopholes yeah. any kind of law you put up there's someone's going to definitely look look for one too they right. look for it yeah and some of them are so damn creative too because I'm like wow like think of these people who look for these loopholes but they had a business or, right. or they were really trying to look for something better like they're just smart people but they're just using it for the different they're trying to purpose. cheat the system yeah <laughs> the whole entire time <laughs> <laughs> they're just like nah they're just like all right yeah <laughs> Man, that's crazy right <coughs> pretty genius <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know now i'm plugging other podcasts in your podcast <laughs> right so go listen to man. this <laughs> i know i know you listen to this right now but just stop and go listen to that one <laughs> go listen to that one <laughs> you know i've been forgotten to tell people to do people, other people should start a podcast yeah I know uh, my friend actually wanted to start one too. Not that it was, he wanted to do one on like, um, he was all into like psychology and stuff like that. So he wanted to do like different people's takes on different issues kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of like how you think like, this is what the textbook says, how you think it applies in your own kind of like type of deal kind of thing, I think. No, that sounds pretty cool. And so now, and also another, another friend up in um, Cambridge, Waterloo area, he runs like a youth ministry up there. And, um, and so he's like doing one in like, on different like, people um, who like who want speaking tours whatever or have written books whatever he's like interviewing them and to like say like um, this is how we kind of improve the whole thing as a system kind of thing and so I have three friends now you plus you're doing yours here with a uh, like, kind of like day-to-day -day life kind of thing yeah mine's just people. like a, mine's like a I think I would call it a slice of life slice of life yeah yeah because yeah. like right I mean, we could talk about Warcraft, but then it's eventually going to go to movies. Like, I know these aren't going to stay on something specific. I know, like, it's tough, right? And I'm perfectly fine with that. Because yeah. like, I'm just used to, like, talking with people, and it just goes anywhere. Right. So I remember spending, like, like obviously the biggest time, I, uh, the biggest person I spend time with is my girlfriend, right. actually. And when we talk, it's never the same subject. No? Like, we'll talk about one thing, and they'll just go to another thing. Right. And that'll lead to another thing. And it's so natural, right? Like, we're not going, so what we talk about, no. Like, it just leads, 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 leads. and Just jumping around on. Yeah, like, like the whole time we're out together, we'll just talk about whatever, and it just goes anywhere <laughs> the whole time. Just anything. I'm just like, oh. Now we're here. And I, yeah, and I don't, I don't even think about it until it's over. Like, when it's done, we're done talking, then I'm like, oh, the different chain of events that Yeah, it took. I'm just thinking, oh, yeah, that happened. Because uh, I'll think about, what she say earlier? Then I'm like, what was that? And I'm thinking, what's that? What's that? And I'm thinking, well, man, we talked a lot of stuff earlier. <laughs> Did she do one of these? No, not yet. No, yeah. 
It's weird too, cause like, I do never got any of my brothers yet. No. Never got my mom yet. Cause like even my mom was like, uh, yeah, I'll do one. But right. she saw it wait for a bit. Because like, I mean, I don't know. I've heard my mom talk about stories and stuff, and like I was even gonna talk to her about uh, the powwow circuit. Oh yeah. Because like she's been doing powwow since like, I don't want to put it too far back, but I'm pretty sure it was the '80s she started. Yeah. So she's been doing it for a long time. Ever since I was a kid. Wow. She's been going on the road and like going out everywhere. <clears throat> That's awesome. So like I was gonna talk to her about that because even she told me before how much it changed. Like back in the day, people would buy a lot. Yeah. And then there was that certain crash that happened in the mar- in the market in America. Right. In, what, 2003 or something? Oh, eight. Oh. No, 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 there was one earlier. Oh, okay. It wasn't as bad though, but there was, there was a bit of a crash. Oh, and, yeah. And that cut a lot of people off. Really? Especially in the States. She noticed that nobody was buying. So they kind of like dropped it away? Yeah. Well, it kind of changed it a little bit. And Powell's were still going on, but there'd be good ones would be bad now. Oh, okay. Because there'd be certain ones she'd go to because she's like, I'm guaranteed to make money. Right. And then it didn't happen. Right. So she had to change it. And then she started going to different ones that she's never been to before. And she'd make money here. Trying to diversify there. it yeah. a bit. Yeah. And that's the risk, right? If you're getting a van, loading up with all kinds of stuff and driving so yeah, many miles. Yeah, it's expensive, right? A couple, a couple hours or a day even. It's a big investment. You gotta I'm, make it back, right? I mean, there's something you just go to because you like it. Like uh, sure. Oneida, Wisconsin, out there. That's like 13 hour drive, but it's, you know, we got family out there. So like, that's why we go out there too. Yeah, because we can go visit them as well, but there's also this, it's a huge pile. I feel like it's a huge pile. Is it? But the biggest pile I've ever been to is in Kamloops when I flew out there. Yeah. They had a 50-50 draws and the prize money was three thousand dollars what so there was six thousand dollars i got raised and then half of it went out that's awesome and i was like i want to win like i was like i'm gonna buy some now yeah because the second one was uh twenty five hundred dollars wow and these are just people walking around going oh you know i want to buy 50 50 and people are buying them buying them and i saw people buying them but didn't look like they were going crazy selling no it's time to go for three (laughs) thousand wow that's wild man that was insane I don't know. Huh. Oh my God. But yeah, like I said, that was the biggest. That was the biggest one I've, I've been to. Right. Mountain-wise and everything. Yeah, it would be nice up there. Oh yeah, you were out there. Yeah. For your, uh, Twice I was out there. I went out there to visit my brother. Then I'm out there for his wedding again. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, beautiful out there. Eh? Yeah, it is. I still we're, we're still gonna go East Coast. We're uh, saving up for um, air miles. Yep. Right now we have enough for plane tickets for the three of us me him and his wife and um and we have enough for we almost have enough for the hotels and we want to save enough for the plane tickets the hotels and the rental car and then us, then all the rest is just, just you guys own yeah personal so money? like all the food and everything will and their attractions will be us but the, the most of it will be free right yeah it's gonna be awesome that'd be awesome yeah so yeah we're pumped for that i wouldn't mind going out that way too just to visit right right yeah just check it out we're going to east right I'm sure there's a lot to see out there like you always in Nova Scotia or PEI or like, you know the Confederation Bridge or like you always hear about um, what's that cove out there that people always talk about is it Peggy's Cove or something cove something like that I don't know yeah I don't know a cove anyway there's a cove out there that's pretty famous and I want to check that out and like I don't know if we're going to get over to Newfoundland or not because it's kind of isolated out there but it'd be nice to see that too one time yeah that'd be awesome yeah I was just seeing like when it's like one of those hot spots where they take pictures yeah and you always see it and you're like scenic and everything and it'd be really uh, awesome to see though yeah it's pretty awesome all of Canada right yeah I mean there's there's stuff I want to go to I mean um, my girlfriend some of her relatives live way up north oh yeah and I'd like to go out there and I I told her it'd be nice to visit her uh, relatives way up there because they don't get to go out all the time and that's where her mom's originally from is uh I can't remember, uh, Seine River, okay. way up there. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, so they go up there one time because they live, they live in a bush. Like they literally, you have to go wow. off the road and go no in the way. bush. So I was like, something to do, go out there and try it out. It'd be pretty epic. Yeah. Imagine right the sky out there. And they speak fluent in their entire language, all of them. If you go up there, they all speak fluent, but they, they know English, but they'll, they'll speak, they speak fluent to each other the entire time. On internet? Yeah? No, this is Ojibwe people. Ojibwe? Yeah. Wow. So if you go up there, they're just, and because it's the northern dialect, they, they uh, don't shorten the words. So it's longer sentences, longer really? words. Yeah, so. That's intense. So 
so like it's kind of like uh, my people, my people, the Oneida language. It's kind of shortened a little bit, yeah. like now it is, just to make it easier for people. But the right. original dialect is like really long. The words are longer, huh. so it's kind of it's kind of the same thing. So like, you still trying to learn it? Yeah. Ish. I mean, like I said, there's some words that when I grew up, I was taught it that you just don't forget. Right. Yeah. The swear words. <laughs> <laughs> You know, actually, I don't think there's something we ever ran into. No? I don't think anyone ever would teach. <laughs> I remember somebody <laughs> told me a word and said, go say that to an elder. And I, was, and I, said, and the, I bet you you'll get hit. And I was like, well, I don't want to say it then. <laughs> Just run away. Just run away. Go say this. And you're like, no way. <laughs> Just shot. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be something to do anyways. Go, go up north, east. I like to go out west again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I, so would I, but I've already been out west twice. I'm like, I want to see other stuff too. I just, I think I'm going to wait to go back to uh, down south. <laughs> south to America. America. Yeah, America. So much America right now. So much America. <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot about that. <laughs> so much America. Just so much America. <laughs> just putting that bacon on everything. <laughs> I'm going a burger with bacon, please. So you never ask. Just scare the shit everybody. The shit out of everybody. <laughs> He's so awesome. Oh, so happy with himself. So much America. <laughs> I forget about that too. I don't know though. I, I do Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I still oh, like to go to, um, I go to Flight Center a lot, and the, they, sometimes they have deals mm. where you just take it, apparently what I understand is you take the deal and you can't change the date. Okay. So, you can go, to New, York, you can go to New York for 260 bucks for five what? days. But see, I've never asked them, does that include, what does that include, just the flight? Or... Or is there a hotel involved or what? Right. That's what I've always been afraid to ask because I'm like, I want to keep looking at those deals and be like, that's pretty sweet. But if it's just a flight, I'm like, well, rip up. Because then I got to add hotel, right? And who knows how much that's going to be. Have you been to New York? Not yet. Me either. I definitely want to go, though. I, well, my friend's been to uh, New York, Vegas, and Chicago. My brother in law. Yeah. And he said uh, he recommended it. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can, go, you can go to Vegas whenever you want. Yeah. But if you're gonna, if you plan on visiting Chicago and New York, you should always go to Chicago first, no matter what, and then go to New York. Because basically, New York is just a better version of Chicago. So if you go to New York first, you're just gonna be disappointed when you go to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> so he says. So if you're ever thinking about going to Chicago, was amazing. I've been to Chicago, not New York, so I did it the right way. But anyway, sorry. Chicago was amazing. I just know that. I just know Chicago is the original city. Deep dish. Because uh, they had, uh, they were the they were the very first city in all North America to have skyscrapers, and then New York took that idea. Was it? Yeah, that's wow. how, that's the history of that. So I like, didn't know it, that. New York was never big; it was never tall. But right. until Chicago built the first skyscraper, like the first tall oh, building, too. <laughs> then New York was like, "That's ours." <laughs> and then they made Empire it. State Building. And then they started building theirs, and you're like, "Oh, okay." But yeah, that's why. I mean, I, I hear some people say New York looks like old Europe because of the lower buildings, you know, okay. like the Europeans came over and their right. architecture and stuff. But then uh, people, you know, I heard some people say Chicago looks like New York City, but it's actually the other way around. Wow. Like New York City looks like Chicago because that's how it originally started. Right. It's OG. That's the, and that's the only bit of tidbit I can give off for taking a, uh, an architect <laughs> class in school. <laughs> It paid off finally. And it was an elective. I put on my podcast, it paid it off. It paid off twice. It paid off this, right. and then it paid off when I did a test nice. in college for culinary where it said, what was the white city? And I was like, oh, that was a, that's what they called the uh, festival in Chicago when they were showing off their demonstrations of like architecture <laughs> and science and stuff. So I put that, scored it, everyone else got it wrong. <laughs> Those are the only two times. <laughs> I knew I took that for a reason. <laughs> it's meant to be. That's awesome. It just okay. worked out. It's perfectly. Well, 152. I think we, we did pretty good. We did good, kid. We can end off on that Chicago tibet. <laughs> 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 Architect yeah. class pays off sometimes. There's got to be a way to bring it back full circle. 
somehow. I don't even know what we're talking about first. Uh, Go see Black Panther, I guess. Black Panther. So yeah, was it Star Wars or something like that? Oh yeah, because that's what we were talking about. We were just talking about Star Wars. In the casino city. Boom. Cities. Architecture. Cities. <laughs> we got Killed it. it. Nailed it. Full circle everything. <laughs> well, we that's did, good, man. We did pretty good. Not bad. Alrighty. I'll see everybody next time. Next time. And of course, it was a fantastic podcast episode. It was great. It was fine. It was fun. I loved it. It was cool. Got to do it again, Josh. Uh, so once again, everyone, rate and review the show and let me know what you think. Go on to SoundCloud or iTunes. Take out your pick. Do what you want to do. And if you want to be on the podcast, all you got to do is email me at getready at gmail.com. Get ready with two R's at gmail.com. And all you got to do is drop me an email. Tell me what you want to do, where we can meet. We can get everything ready. So as I promised... We are doing these episodes, and we're going to do them weekly. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone's having fun. And I hope you continue to listen to the podcast because we continue to always have more guests, more exciting things are happening. And like I said, we have everything we can do. I'm going to upload these as much as possible weekly as well. But these episodes I'm putting up now, I hope you you enjoy them. We will continue to go forward with this. All right. So I hope everyone had a good time, and I will see you next time.